Uh, greetings and salutations, friends, and uh, welcome wins. back to some more Rogue Trader. I did promise you I'd try to get a, another round of it in today, and here we are. As I think I've finally gotten over whatever throat bug was bothering me too, which is quite nice. It was starting to get a little bit annoying. The Cogitator's panel has dozens of breakers, buttons, hands, and switches, and other control mechanisms. Well, uh, start pressing them randomly? Oh. Am I now? Okay. Law. A new challenge for me. Who What's your stats? cares about the law? Nobody. No, nobody's worried about that. That's fine. That's okay. I already know the law of this place. It fell to the chaos. The emperor favors me today. Yeah. It's uh. Pretty simplistic, really. Every See, right there. Martyrdom is a reward. Agenda. Sometimes. Join me. In prayer. You are near Be uniquely strong. retarded. Greater you know that? Lie ahead. See, I... <laughs> Let me tend to your I saw Please her angle, and immediately I thought to myself, this isn't going to work out very well. And then I thought, Never let's do it me. anyway. Duty just, to, just to demonstrate the problems with the bad my way. Ah, Jesus. Hey, I am firmly of the opinion that you should never include traps in any sort of D&D campaign, or any sort of campaign whatsoever, actually, because traps are kind of dumb, and uh, they make your players act dumb, and behave dumb, and do dumb things. Traps are an air universally negative to anyone and everyone involved in playing with them, and using them, and engaging time. with them. And the worst possible scenario is if you start making your players properly paranoid, and you get somebody who is like, I grab a stick. I will prod every millimeter of ground in front of me with this stick. I will never stop prodding the ground with this stars. stick. I will open every door with this stick. I will open every chest with this stick. And so on and so on. I sense something nearby. It's a variant a of the... challenge for me. The thing is hidden. You can't find the thing thing problem. Uh, to which some clever player simply says, I'm going to start what to walk in ever-expanding concentric circles for eternity. I don't care how long Victory it'll take. Awaits. Oh, I kind of hoped that would blow that up so I could get past there, but apparently not. I guess that explosive battle was not actually as explosive as I hoped it would be. Only a stopping to rest and get food and then have people fetch me things. At Follow which point, as a lead. GM, your only options are either to go like, okay, yeah, seven years later you find it, or <laughs> I just kind of humor it for as long as... Uh, it, it, at that point, it becomes a, um, a contest of willpower, in essence. Mm. I won't tolerate weakness. As it should be. This eerie-looking makeshift structure is an altered zinch. Men's revolting totems... And twisted symbols dedicated to Chaos God, you know, a string of nines burned into the metal surface. Okay. You know, this Forge world is None shall remarkably stand in my lightly way. populated. Huh? The video game just saved, which makes me think, uh huh, yeah, there you go. Tough cultist. Oh, tough cultists, I see. Oh, a man, cultists. These, these cultists are tough. Oh, hello there, obvious scenario piece that I'm probably. Yep. You have found a, wa a valve wheel. Okay. The Emperor favors me today. My soul shall burn <laughs> like fire. <laughs> <laughs> and how exactly did that benefit me in any way, shape, or form, video game? <sighs> Argenta. <sighs> I rise to the occasion. Argenta. Argenta, my dear, my dear, dear, retarded fucking sister. least step out of the way at, le at least make the, uh, the at least make the perceivable attempt to step out of the way you know 
something. You know, leap out of the way. Throw yourself out of the way. You Victory know, awaits. anything. At, at least, at least, at least the attempt. Like I don't, I don't, I don't demand you succeed. I merely demand you try. All right, Argenta. <sighs> I'll lay claim to the stars. Right. Well, I don't actually know how that benefits me in any way whatsoever. So I guess we'll go over there and where are we now? Uh Okay, well that looks combat -y. It's about time. I guess I should clear as much of the other non combat -y, or well other combat before we go deal with that as possible. Ah, cultists at the top of stairs. See, I don't like it when cultists are at the top of stairs. What ails you? Because I know this video game I has an interesting relationship with elevations. I fear to look at oh, hi there! Rotten -colored souls. That chaos marine, eh? Okay, alright, very well. Data meditation is terminated. I tire of our Sins hidden in the heart turn all. Watching the lazy handle sacred technology. I'm watching your back. State your intention. Oh, a few I need bombs to as well. I, say a little bit if you I woke up with a feeling of wonder. Color the uncolored. The feeling of wonder, as I realized I'd have the opportunity to kill many people this day. Hmm. I'm you know not let me start to by just. Around. Oh, no, not allowed to do that. This is a. Yep, no, this is this is a prearranged scenario. You are not allowed to surprise the Chaos Space Marine, but he's right there. I don't care. The Chaos Space Marine <laughs> He has a prepared action. <laughs> no. The Chaos Space Marine told us over the tech priest. Bowed heads like a dark cliff. He is reciting a sermon, slowly almost chanting. From a mere sound of his deep low voice, you break into a cold sweat and your gorge rises. Listen for my words, I reveal to you a path from the darkness unto the primordial truth, which has thrown open its gates for wayward souls seeking deliverance from the shroud of lies and torment of enslavement. Your minds have shed the bonds of dogma and has guided you into the abyss. Accept now the hope granted to you by the greatest of the word bearers. Sacrilege! Here on the soil of an imperial world. I knew our meeting on Rykad Minoris would, uh, wouldn't be the last, but to run into this anathema here. Kiavagama did not merely succumb to heresy, his supreme glorious greatness, Sir Archer Terror. Your world is in the clutches of the greatest evil known to the Imperium. The news fair signature of the defective units has been archived. In accordance with the sacred commandments, I will tolerate no heresy and hereby sentence you to categorical disposal without redemption. Listen to the sermon attack. Follow and drop sermon with a peon to god him. I like that one. Let's do that one. Let us abandon the element of sub sub surprise to preach to the Chaos Space Marine. The Space Marine roars in fury. He roars Take in a fury. Knee and bow before me. <laughs> well, I'll bleed you dry. That does indeed somewhat lessen my my element of surprise, tragically, but. I'm getting quite used to that, so you know, I don't necessarily bite too much. Now, this video game does not possess the miracle known as Zones of Control, so uh, I don't really need to worry too much about needing to, you know, block the enemy, because I actually kind of sort of can't. So we're just going to line up here, give them a couple of easy targets, and then leave Cinnamon Bun Kitten in the back. Right, Argenta! Would you be so kind as to initiate proceedings, my dear? As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> <laughs> That's appreciated, is and uh, you can reload your weapon whilst you're at it. Yeah! Lovely, luckily, the tough cultists are not particularly intelligent cultists. Ah. I see. I see. They don't activate their own traps, do they? Uh, of course not. Why? Why? Why would they do such a thing? All right. Put prey on him because I'm thinking we're gonna need it, and then just stack up every single solitary pet buff in the universe. Hmm. Hmm. 
This tedium is beneath me. Oh, I can place that on several people, can I? Okay. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Nito Cheeto, allow me to do so, and uh, then we'll shoot him. Fortune favors the swift. And then we'll set up the if I'll shoot him next turn course. for free ability as well. There you go. We'll gather around Pascal. Now, friend, foe, identity, capable minds. That's uh, it's pretty impressive. It's quite impressive, actually. Right, curse his ass. Now, my dear cinnamon bun kitten, can you blow up Chaos Space Marine's heads? <laughs> 35 damage, you know, 35 damage, not bad, not bad. Me. Not dreadful. If you insist, Lord Captain. Doesn't one shot him, which is a little bit tragic, but not bad, not bad. I am a navigator, not a servitor. <laughs> Alright, he's all the way at the end. This is good. Right, somehow I doubt my ability to kill the big bastard in one one schmoosh. God Emperor, but I am through. nevertheless tempted to try. In my heart. Right, let's see. Faith Rack up the rapid fire. Is any of this relevant? Not really, no. Alright, well. Kablooey. Each strike is a prayer. Hmm. I'll do it. Not bad, not bad. Alright, grit your teeth, Argento. This is probably gonna hurt. Chosen. Another one is down. Yeah, I'm yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I figured. Nothing I can't do. I really need to get Argento that power Change armor thing, but I don't even have any power armor for her. But she does die a lot. I, I will say, she does die a lot. Nothing I can't right. do. Press the my weapon will magically do more damage ability, and then overcharge his ass with a plasma cannon. <laughs> Boom! Sixty-four damage. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Already done. My little cinnabon kitten, if you would please continue with the onslaught. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. There we go, there we go. Most lovely, most adorably. And, uh... I can probably I finish him up with that. <coughs> Jesus, Cassia, calm down! <laughs> calm, calm, woman! He almost blew up Hendrix too. My vow is to serve. All right. Um. Vital functions successfully terminated. For 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 future reference, be a little bit more uh, be, be a little bit more careful when issuing that one. order. I'll channel my pain into anger. All right. That also stunned him, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Yes. 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 It sort of kind of did. Right. <sighs> um. If I must. If you could uh, kill that one, that'd be I lovely, because otherwise I think we're going to have a... Uh... No? No. No. That's very unfortunate of if you. It serves your cause. Right, Henrix, I hope you know how to dodge. No, you don't. Do I need to do everything myself? It be certainly seems like it gaze. would be preferable. If I may, as course. duty demands. Sometimes... Sometimes I wonder why we bring anyone on these missions. 
except for myself and Cinnamon Bun Kitten. I, I actually, I really, unironically, sorry, I kind of do. Running our casualty rate right. would be significantly lower, Running and our KD would be significantly six. higher as well. All too easy. I, I cannot explain Archer's unfathomably low hit percentage recently. I have been whiffing like 90 plus percent hits consistently now for a very long time. I'm I'm kind of amazed. I can't do. Nothing of value has been lost. All right, Argenta, back on your feet. Go and fix that explosives there. Never doubt me. Thank you. Alright, a couple of injuries as per usual. What does this button do? That. Does that benefit me in any way? Keep a sharp eye. Oh, it lets me find more high explosives. I don't, don't step on it, Argenta. Ar Argenta, are you? There you go. Disarm the explosive. Don't step on it. I better myself Watch through your my service. I failed. You know, I've always wondered how the hell people's task should have been accomplished easily. It should have, Argenta, and weakness. yet you continue to impress me. Hello. Now, well, that's the boss boy then. Okay. We'll leave him to his own devices for the moment as we go accumulate some more injuries. It's not a boss fight if you don't go into it a little bit exhausted after all. Come on. Victory awaits. Plus, there could be goodies. Done. Perhaps this is where I found my power armor. Of course, it looks dead. Uh, bring your elect to to the scanner. Several lumens light up to the panel. You hear distinct clicks, and Kotchikator goes quite quite clearly having fulfilled its purpose. Herm, this war looks suspicious. It's flashing at me. We need to investigate. Uh. I'm not sure it obviously failed. It can now be open manually by finding a suitable valve. All right, I th didn't I? Oh no, I did. I picked that up last claim time. To the stars. Right, well, that's the valve puzzle. There you go. There's my suitable valve right there. Thank you. I always wondered how people Follow survive in these areas. You know, they they just go like, ah. I did fine. Our forge world might be invaded by the false believers of the corpse emperor. Let's place anti-tank mines everywhere. None shall stand in my way. But Mr. Magos person, we live her here too. How are we going to avoid all the mines? I don't care. Hello there, obviously hostile people. Um, I guess you're another... Now, pre-scripted encounters, well, I'm just gonna, you know, walk up to you calmly and... There you go. The tech first tears himself away from reading his data slate and looks up at you. His respiratory augmentic is missing. Instead, of the lower half of his face is covered in deathly pale artificial flesh. You take note of the multitude of fresh augmentics attached to his head. They seem to have been inserted haphazardly, and pus is seeping from the untreated wounds. I heard your footsteps in the void. You are von Ferencius, are you not? That's your great and glorious lordship, Von Valencius, to you, Heretic, but yes. Initiating arrest procedures. This unit is using a fabricated identification code, which constitutes a grade 4 transgression. Well. Wow. You are a heretic, are you not? Oh, I mean, uh, so... I'll just, I'll just fucking attack him. The voices warned me this moment would come. Barely not well enough. Mercy. I'll turn you into corpse starch. Listen. I'm sure you had a lovely bit of dialogue planned out for me there, but you are very, 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 very obviously evil, okay? And so I am going to take the very, 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 very obvious course of action when faced with something that is so very, very obviously evil. In other words, I am going to shoot you. 
can't really complain about this. It's pretty much just how the world works. I would have shot you already if it weren't for the fact that the video game was like, no, oh, no, speak to these guys. But why video game? I spent time writing out their dialogue. Fair enough. As a GM myself, Isn't I can. This a job um, for the serfs? I, I actually genuinely, unironically, can sympathize with that rationale. Oh God, are those? Are those what I think? They, are those? Are those scrap code buffing little pieces of shit again? I hope on. not. If they are, I wish to shoot them. Doubt is for the weak. And I did it. Um. This tedium is beneath me. Pray. Pray. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. Pray. Buff. Buff. If I must. Buff. And just in case, I kill that thing. understand your intent. I had quite enough of that buffy nonsense last time I dealt with these things. Thank you very much. Alright, so let's see if I can get I'll do it. Argenta through an encounter without killing her for once. So we're gonna keep you a little bit to the rear there. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. This is why I was chosen. Less impressive than I'd perhaps hoped for, but he is on fire, which is nice. I can make it. Jesus. I'm enraged. I'm apparently not put enough uh, points into uh, toughness. Emperor, turns out. Give me strength. Hello, enemies of the God Emperor. Thank you very much for lining yourself up appropriately. It makes me. Cassius' job if you insist, Lord Captain, infinitely easier. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Right, that one should burn to a crisp next turn, so I don't need to worry about it too much, but... I really don't like that plasma cannon you have, so maybe, uh... Maybe we take that away from you as much as possible. Didn't I have a thing that does a thing? Yes, maybe? <clears throat> Possibly. I think that reduces his accuracy or something. Well, Henrix, um, how about you, uh, flee like I'll the whip dog you are? Use. For the throne's glory. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that'll, I'll, I'm sure that'll keep you safe. More That's, trouble than it's worth. A tiny bit of health there should be all you'd possibly need. And you might as well. That still didn't kill him. I'm mildly amazed. Right. I really don't like that guy. Suits my purpose. First, Argenta needs a little bit of temporary hit points and buffing. Already done. That temporary hit point was really useful to begin with, but uh, now that enemies are starting to get a lot more damage, it doesn't quite feel as effective anymore, does it? Suits my purposes. Probably should have put it on the other one, actually. But never mind. Not a problem, advantage. And a big wallop of plasma damage. Nice, sixty-four. Not bad. Not bad. Suits my purposes. Mm, Cinnabon can kitten a feast on their souls. As duty demands. Let. I don't like that man. I don't like that combat servitor either, though. Right, they're both prey, aren't they? Uh, 
I think so. Let's try out the wild hunt thingy then. My heart sinks with the thrill Let's of see. battle. So if I understand this ability correctly. <sighs> no, apparently not. Similar to the number of attacks equal to the number of prey in combat. Oh, so it does several number of attacks according to the number of prey in combat against a single enemy target. Alright. I thought it shot like every unit designated as prey, but apparently that's not quite how that works. If it's or no, I can oh, I I can dollop out the shots. So that's two shots and then one free shot. Okay. That makes sort of kind of a certain degree of sense. I kind of wish video game you would just uh, you know shoot all of those shots immediately, but mm, very well. Um. Ah, uh, Genta, just... I will not! Why can you not fire? I refuse. Are you no range? Okay. Hmm, weird. That is not the Emperor's will. You can't fire anything. Fate Interesting. without right. deeds well, is Well, load up a through. rapid fire, I guess. Then it is natural. I have read tomes of military tactics. We decided not to kill Argenta. This is fine. You shouldn't have run away, mister. That only means that Me? you'll die tired. If you insist, Lord. See? Pascal Sands mostly says the heretic. I am taking this neuro cottage data. The data contained within must be analyzed to supplement the catechism of maintenance and operation. Um. Yeah, I don't know about that. Are you, are you sure about that? Request denied. The value of data justifies the risk. All right, if you say so. I mean, a new challenge for me. You don't know where that data plug's been, do you? Well, you? well, in fact, no. That isn't the problem here. You know exactly where they, that data plug has been. That's that's the problem. It's been inside of the awaits. inside of the head of Sin's a very obvious tech heretic. To decay. The pain will subside. You have my thanks. Oh, yeah. A shortcut. I won't tolerate weakness. I feel like Pascal is a little bit... It's, it's a little bit too, uh... I, casual with I all this. It? Reservoirs for blood. It's some weird looking blood of a video game, but whatever you say. I'll lay claim to the star. Oh, I missed something over there. Is that plasma gun by any chance better than the plasma gun I had? Uh Yes. Yes, quite a quite a bit better too. Nice. Fifty percent down That's armor. Pierce, quite nice. All right. If there's nothing else, I suppose A I can challenge for me. I still don't know what the point of that is. <coughs> oh my god! Ah, sneeze. But I do need to get that secret thing. None shall stand in my way. Yeah, I would not be doing this myself. Somebody else would do this. Pascal or Hendrix would do this, not I. Come I on, sense something weakness. I'm. Are you gonna? Yeah. Keep a sharp eye. I saw her heading. Argenta, you you are you are a danger to yourself and everyone else around you. I just want to point that out. The towering furnace wreathed in a scarlet light fills you with awe as you approach the heavy thrum of ancient servo motors erupt from the machine depths along with crackling binaric undertones. The dust-covered key are illuminated by a faint, pale glow. The furnace responds with a short binaric signal that awo awakens, evokes the mechanical rusting of unseen switches. Quest your daughter's data. 
Okay. Follow my lead. I mean... I literally a moment before inputted the thing to get rid of the traps, but I guess we didn't care about that? Alright, well, get back in there, boy. Rumbling buildings up in the bowels of the furnace growing stronger, a pace with the sound of the ancient motors. And almost echoed by the screeching of metal gears and the clanking of unknown mechanisms, slowly, almost hesitantly, the creation of the Adeptus Mechanicus discord, a data bank engraved with the coat of the arms of House Valencius. Ready for data input. I see. Secretly encrypted. All right. It's about time. Is it more information about how how Theodora was a massive traitor? Because I think it's going to be more information about how Theodora was a massive traitor. Also, you know, the video game. I'm going to do the gay thing because I'm betting this is just never going to go away now. Uh, duration permanent. Yes. I'm going to do the gay thing. I, I never do this because I think it's gay. And I think it's a really, really retarded gameplay mechanism to be like, Oh, you're on this, this, this distant place. Excellent. You're surrounded Matters. by danger. The entire forge world has fallen to chaos. Well, hi there. I wonder how I missed all of you guys the first time around. Just, uh, Activating motive force reserves. Let me grab that and... Randomly press some buttons so that we can uh, activate whatever ambush this is. No? Huh. I won't tolerate weakness. And then, in the middle of the goddamn dungeon, surrounded by goblins, hobgoblins, uh, all kinds of trolls and mystical creatures, a vile, evil sorcerer at the end of it all. The party goes, ah, gosh darn it, I'm out of spell slot. Hey, group, let's let's bed down here for about, oh, I don't know, 24 hours or so. You know, let's kick back, play some music, relax, set up a bonfire, cook some food. I'm like, really? Would, 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 would that be something that happened? Would, would the inhabitants not notice? Would this not cause serious problems Follow to, you know, everything? It's like, no, no, we're fine. Let's just, um, let's leave here for a bit. Well, we'll come back. I'm, I'm, I'm sure the Mechanicus will just, you know, chill about and shit. They won't you know, make any preparations or, I don't know, set a line some orbital weaponry or a line some anti-air flak defensers to shoot down our shuttle. No, no, we can just pop back up to orbit a bit, spend an hour or so in the... You know, res restoration vats, and then come back down again. Yeah, res ready and rested. It's too video game. It's about time. And I, I hate it. Even in, like, the Dungeons & Dragons stuff. Like, I hate the idea of limited resources Remember, that force you to take rests nothing. like that. Arch Spinny Bridge Henry quest. Spinny Bridge? Spinny Bridge Henry quest. Okay. What, over there? See, I understand the appeal of limited resources. I do. I myself have always to think like, hey, wouldn't it be really cool if the players like have to do some kind of, um... not, okay. Some kind of, like, preparations, you know? If they know they're going to be fighting undead, wouldn't it be cool if the players are like, yeah, I'm going to bring cudgels to make sure they don't get their pierce resistance or something. Or it's like, I'm going to bring holy water and hi. Well, that's unusual. Yeah, that's definitely unusual. I feel like my immediate reaction would be to put a few bolt rounds through the cage there before it breaks weakness. out and starts fighting me, but, um... I'm guessing this is another one of those, like, no, 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 this is a trap scenario. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get around the trap too early, would you? 
Numerous wires and pipes run, the field, run to the filthy cage, which is filled with what looks like a conglomeration of human bodies. You cannot make out who is in the cage, but bright blue sparks flash intimately in the darkness as the massive flitch twitches and shudders. Henrik casts a scrutinizing eye of one of the cages before withdrawing his weapon and approaching to examine what lies inside. <laughs> Careful, Henriks. Look at it. Mercy. One of the human heads turns to you. I mean, I'm happy to. Make make it stop. Study the mutant closely. Uh, shoot him in the head. There you go. Flesh explodes in a fountain of lumps, stinking spray and bone shards. The gaping wound closes in an instant, and a different face emerges from the fleshy depths in place of the lost head. Mutant bodies pulsing faster, harder, so the Amanomination's heart rate is spiked with fear. Many voices moan rise up from all the other cages at once. The pain was felt by all who share the mutant's horrific fate. Alright, let's use my amazing medical rolls. Hey! You examine the pulsating mass of flesh. The creature in the cage seems to be composed of several bodies joined together. You don't say. You see no suture or any other means by which the separation process could have been connected. Among the layers of meat, you discern large knots of muscle. That is, limbs, exposed bones, parts of faces, and entire heads. Only warp sorcery is capable of creating such an abomination while preserving its ability to live on. <laughs> also, who are you then? I foreman from sector. Pain, kill me. So, uh, all in due time. Your uh, your registration number, please. I am beginning to have some idea. The Lex mechanic mentioned they had uh, inhabitants of the lower levels who had been imprisoned in their homes. He said some of them were brought here. The cultists did something to those poor people in their way own home, and now they are studying the results. Hmm. To know the workings of dark sorcery means allowing a corruption into oneself. These are warp mutations, no doubt. Perhaps there was some side effect, and that is why they were brought here. To be connected to sensors and cogitators. Even fallen tech priests who have rejected the Omnisai are driven by a perverted hunger for knowledge. Uh, have you ever seen anything like it before? I've seen a great deal, Rogue Trader. That includes mutations caused by the sorcery of chaos. What frightens me most is not their repulsive form, but what is hiding beneath it. A human soul in torment. Chaos never forgets to ensure its victims retain the ability to suffer. Why are they hooked up to? Well, sorry, it's not even them, of course. You promised, you promised us. What are you talking about? What did they promise you? Who are they? You, you took us from the inferno. You promised us rewards. You. I'll be damned, they can still speak. I remember people who did this to them. Perhaps a little biomancy will allow us to draw the fragments of knowledge out of them, or it will trigger further changes. Huh. Mm, well, I mean, they've been suffering for so fast, so they might as well suffer a little longer, right? It's possible the person would refuse to make such a choice, but we can use this situation to help the investigation. All right, Heinrichs. See if you can enhance their pain somewhat. Henrik cast this for a moment. Oh, didn't mean to click that. The unit chase before you are liar. You promised to kill me. You promised me deliverance. Everyone of you, everyone told me to uh, hope the pain would be a go. Go, accept the truth. That is hope. And I hope to be freed from this pain. Please, make it so. Make it so. And that's it. The lamentations of dying people. No, not just that. What is said about the hope sounds like a lie of chaos, which uses to take root in weak minds. I believe the corrupted tech priest repeated this phrase like an echo of what had been instilled in them. Whatever the cult of the final dawn is planning, false hope is a key compartment of the plan. It's a lead, a small one, but still a lead. I mean, we knew that already, you know, the final dawn, salvation, etc. It's hardly groundbreaking knowledge, Henrix. You're not much of an inquisitive inquisitor, are you? That's that then, but do you know what bothers me, Rogue Trader? The number of people here, there are too few. The lower levels of similar manufactorums are inhabited by millions. What happened to the rest of them? I will know I won't like the answer. Let's go, we still haven't done what we came here to do. Follow my lead! Is there a, uh, I don't know, set fire to all of the cages button somewhere? Because, uh... 
I feel like I want to press that button. Victory awaits! The massive cogitator grows out of the metal bulkheads like a grotesque tumor. A hollow roar sounds from deep within the metal housing. Whatever spurred the computer into action, it has enough power to supply a small command center. As soon as your eyes fall upon the cogitator, you feel a tingling in your temples. Every nook, every component of the machine radiates a sense of wrongness. One that is difficult to explain, but no less palpable for that. It is as though the construct itself defies the laws of physics and perspective. Stop, his supreme glorious greatness, Sir Art of Tenor. That is the creation of the arch enemy. Now go near it. You have done enough for me and my mission. Don't put yourself at the risk now. As Henrik walks straight towards it. And starts fiddling with the keys. As soon as Henrik takes another step forward, the cogitator, it emits a deafening shriek like hundreds of metal needles driving into a toughened glass. As though sensing the strang stranger wincing, Henrik approaches the control panel and bends down towards the screen. Despite the heat clogging the room, you feel an ice-cold breeze. Henrik is clearly hiccups, using his psychic abilities to try to fend off the pernicious effects of the chaos art hiccups effect. The size grace has not touched this object. This mechanism was not desecrated, but born flawed and an unnatural iron most profane. Inflating observation log, let not fear stand in the path of knowledge. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my distance. A minute passes, then another. You watch Henrik some examine the cogitator. His eyes scan the screen, his hands darting from the reel to the lever, sometimes hovering uncertainly over the next switch which immediately receives a coating of frost. At some point you hear his voice almost a whisper, barely audible above the clanging, roaring machine. Sacrifices, more and more sacrifices every minute. Hecatomb, deter... determinance. The womb of this cursed machine is down on the lower levels. The auxiliary enumerator controls the system for delivering molten waste under the manufactorum's main building. This cogitator is fueled by the energy harnessed from thousands of people. We're flowing beneath our feet a slag waste as we speak. But I cannot even imagine the reason for sacrificing all these people. It is inconceivable. Now we know why the fabricator sensor prized this monstrosity so highly. The cursed tech priest and his associates created something that went beyond the limits of the Omnissiah's power. This machine is designed to process myriad possibilities using warp sorcery. It has almost finished its task. It, it predicts the future. His supreme glorious greatness stood out of terror. Mm. Henrix, you're not getting tempted to use this thing, are you? How is that even possible? Well, with blood, apparently. Do not attempt to gain insight into the essence of the machine's corruption by the arch enemy. At least not if you value your soul. I have encountered the heretic's mechanical abominations before. To truly fathom their nature is to allow a particle of death into your heart. For the fruit they bear, no matter how abhorrent their instruments, the fruit they bear could be useful. Of course you are. You intend to let a creation from beyond the veil do what it was designed to do? It is not your calling to protect your kind from the schemes and temptations of Sire Lanthresh, is it not? You cannot understand this, Xenos. Knowing one's enemy is the path to destroying them. Ooh. Pinch radical there, Henrix. If in order to prevent countless future calamities, I must per per perpetrate one of my own, such as my duty to the Golden Throne. Not only do you not keep watch over your kin, you even sacrifice your own soul to your dead god. It is astounding. Let's not speak too highly of dead gods, Idolet. Yes, let's allow the machine to finish its calculations. I wish to know that what precisely the cult's minions were so desperate to see in the future. Perhaps if we were to increase the power, it would be finished sooner. Okay. Alright. This, uh... This sounds like an engage with your audience moment yet again. One, two, three, and four chat. Ah. Henrix, he struck me as a nice lad, as a good inquisitor. 
as, uh, as one of the normal ones. This impression is fading quickly. Rapidly, in fact. Mr. Think Hendricks is, uh, is, is getting a little bit too deep into this. Getting a little bit too, uh, the means justify the enzy and all of this. I'm not sure Hendrix knows quite what he's playing with here. He's not even a full inquisitor either, is he? He's like, he's like an interrogator or something. He's, he, he does, I don't even know if he's had the authority to do this. It's like interrogators do tend to have a fairly, you know, uh, wide range of powers and authorities, sure. And some do indeed act on behalf of the inquisitor using their powers, but, um, I don't know. Having filthy, dirty machine sex with a heretical supercomputer might be pushing his remit somewhat. I do also love that this is literally just a supercomputer. It's a hefty one, mind you, but it's basically a super quantum computer that takes like every possibility into account and then uses that to theoretically protect the future. Protect. Predict the future. Except this one runs on, you know, uh, blood and guts and vomit and awful and all that. Which, to be fair, there is no real way we can say that supercomputers wouldn't run on all that because you know, we don't really have computers of that style anymore, you know? Flyboy Fly boy becomes a member. Welcome, sir, to the uh, god bridge god worshippers. You will be petted here, even if it is not, <laughs> not your wish. Robert Wadsworth, $5. Thank you very much. I'd argue this is normal for Inquisitors. I don't know about that. For radical inquisitors, definitely. For for the fluffy, kind, gentle ones, mm, no, no, this is pretty. <laughs> this is pretty radical. And uh, chat is pretty much overwhelmingly in favour for cutting the power. So that is what we are going to do. Cut the power supply. The spawn of chaos has no place in my world. And I do so by shooting a plasma weapon into it. I, I've come to realization that I interact with every object around me with weapons fire. Henrik fails to stop you in time. Your blow sends the torn cables whipping out in every direction, scattering sparks and droplets of noxious scarlet slides. Service guarantees citizenship. I'll see you destroyed! Well, hi there, little screamer. Wow, look at that, Henrix. It turns out that whatever was living inside of the machine was not actually particularly nice. Wow. Ain't that a motherfucking shocker or something? An absolute surprise and a half, I'll say. Here, Henrix. I'll I give you the opportunity it. to hit it first. <laughs> Four damage! Wow, that's I have I have lost. Jesus Hendrix, you need to work on those You need to work on those abs of yours. Eh, better. They're better. Not letting you down, bro. Right, then begins Irlit's lengthy process of putting every single buff in the universe upon herself. This tedium is beneath me. I know, Edelith, I know. Uh, oh, does that require two buttons, does it? That is beneath me. But why? But why, Edelith? Here, shoot it if at least it once, then. Your fortune favors the swift. 21 damage. That was actually quite a lot. I wonder... Hmm. I wonder if those all benefit on, you know, the multiple shots. I think that's something I need to experiment with. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. All right, cinnamon bun. I am a navigator, not a servitor. You just uh, wrap your mind uh, around that demon a little bit there. I know, I know. It's not necessarily very healthy oh, for you, easy. but. Oh, all right.
right, Argenta. Guided by faith. As the Emperor commands, I act. Controlled shot. I'll do it. And kabonka, bonka, bonka. <laughs> she really does need a new weapon. As the Emperor commands, I act. Henry. Let's see. Does anybody need a heal? No. Not particularly. Uh, that did take all of my resolve. Let's see to it. Less than ideal. Naturally. Miro gives one Arshcast membership. Thank you very much, Miro. And Lazy One was gifted it as well. Lazy One should say thank but you. Course, Miro is a nice Lord person. Captain. Parry. With what exactly? With, with what exactly did I you parry me? It. My ass tentacles. I see. My butt tentacles wrapped themselves around your weapon. Now what are you going to do about it? Uh, nothing. Nothing I can do about it, but still. I feel like that isn't necessarily going to, huh? Um, well, no, it is. My vow is to serve. Bonk. Okay, a little bit tough, these guys. Um, but the big guy is probably going to go down. 50, 52%. Hmm. Um, Cinnamon Bun Kitten, would you, uh. To my would you care to do a little bit more damage, would you? Actually, I should have moved out of the way first, but... Fine. Alright. Good. Kill the screamer. Emperor, us. Thank you, kitten. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I'm always disturbed by what she thinks is a job for the serfs, honestly. If even a third of my serfs were quite as psychically, uh... No time next. One AP. If I may. If even one of my serfs was as psychically active as, uh... A little cinnamon button kitten, I'd be very worried. Wait, did that? Is... Wait. Did that? Eat my entire turn. Did it? I... Th no. No, it moved me on the turn order. Well, that was weird. Alright, well, I don't... I don't mind, I suppose. Kablooey. You didn't stand a chance! Ooh. <laughs> right, okay. Alright, liking my new plasma gun. Liking my plasma gun quite a lot. That was heavy duty. If I must, ancestors guide me. Seventeen thirty. Mm -hmm. I am not your Zeno's pet monkey. Not terrible damage, I guess. Not amazing either. Uh, Nero donates two hundred check-in bucks. Thank you very much. Hey, Aunt. Just want to say that I really appreciate what you do. Please keep being a friend. The last few years have been somewhat tough on me, yet your content really helps me to unwind in the evenings. Thank you for that, sir. You're very welcome. I'm very glad that you can gain some enjoyment out of my content. Thank you very much, sir. Now, can I... Let's, let's test I out that if intent. I buff myself to fucking back... I am not your Xenos pet monkey. And then do this. Will it cause lots and lots of pain? If it serves your cause, fortune favors the swift. Eh. Not really, honestly. Not dreadfully impressive. Battlefields are always right. drowned. Video game. Scarlet. What is your definition of a straight line? Uh, Me. More or less the same as mine. Captain. Okay, good. Isn't this a job for another foe painted black? 
Me? Try to die with grace, at least. Uh, there's just kind of more of them now, Cassia. I know. I tried to kill them like normal, and yeah, there's just more of them now. I'm mysterious. Genta, move one step back. I'll do Control it. Full shot. I will not. Oh, you've already got that active, so now. That is for the bonka, 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 bonka. This eradicated. Okay, you got one, not too bad. Now, Henrix, how are we feeling about our weird machine? Are we, uh... Are, are we still thinking we should have allowed it to, uh, finish its reveries? That's my There's, there's the heel. For the throne's glory. I don't know, Henrix, I, I feel as if this particular supercomputer was, uh... was a bit of a badden. I won't object to it. I wish I could do rapid fire plasma, that would be funny. A little bit of overheat, don't mind that. You know, it just stings a little bit, it's fine. Entirely okay. I'm not accustomed. If your plasma gun doesn't occasionally burn you, you're doing it wrong, simple as. First through? Ow, you little. Be careful not to cross my gaze. Another foe painted black. And die. No, these ruby flashes are choking me. What have you done? Years of work, agents' lives sacrificed to uncover the cult secret, and you destroyed it all in one fell swoop? He was summoning fucking demons, bruh. <laughs> and now I'll end you. Wow, this is escalating. <laughs> that, was, that was sudden. And you know what? I think maybe that might be the dogmatic reaction rather than the heretical one right now, everything considering. Yeah, I didn't want any loyal servant of the Emperor would. Correct. Correct. Sound for few moments. Yes. Supreme God is greatness and art of terror. You acted as the will of the Imperium dictates to all his humble lay people. It was a mistake to trust that you would see the difference between people like me and people like you. Henrix, you're not an inquisitor. You're just an interrogator. You're, you're a little bit of a dumbass if you think you can handle a supercomputer that summons fucking demons. At any rate, Rogue Trader, the Inquisition will hear about this in my report. That's fine, I'm pretty sure Ian Christopher will shoot you before he shoots me. I'll lay claim in fact, I'm to pretty sure stars. of the fact. In fact, I kind of want to be in the room when you deliver that report. Like, my lord, I was, you know, having sex with a heretical supercomputer. You know, hoping that it become being able to, uh, inform our enemies about how to change the future would benefit us somehow. New challenge for me? And then Art shot it. He was being a grumpy puss. <laughs> Inquisitor looks at Henrix. You what? <laughs> Why didn't you shoot it? Well, he was all glowing purple and shit, and they started summoning demons. Yeah, yeah, demon devices tend to do that. <laughs> Art feels solidly in the right here. Very, very solidly in the right, in fact. So, uh, Henrix, this supercomputer of yours. Do you have any idea how it functioned? Uh, warp magic, I presume. Uh -huh. I won't tolerate weakness. Uh, any idea as to do to its fuel source? Oh, that's easy. Uh, millions of dead people running through tubes in the floor. Hmm. And you elected to continue to interact with this thing, did you? None yeah. shall stand in my way. <laughs> ah. Well, why am I here? Oh. 
Hello. Victory awaits. I was looking for the boss room, but I guess this works too, whatever this is. Last quick save. Hello? Shlom. I have I have lost. Alright. More trophies and cargo. A flamer digi weapon. Huh. That's kinda cute, but See, the problem with digi weapons are they're meant to be easily hidden. They're last ditch surprise offensive weaponry. To the stars. They're not really combat weaponry, you know? That's not, not really their forte. And so, uh, in a game where concealing weaponry really isn't the greatest concern, but rather carrying the biggest possible gun. Digi weapons kind of lose a lot of their purpose, really, but eh, details, details. A new challenge for me. Hello there. Oh, hi. Really now? Oh, Jesus. Well, this looks kind of fucking terrible, doesn't it? The songs hmm. of my ancestors speak of stars long forgotten and worlds long gone. What a shame that you- Join me in prayer! I know, you wasted all of those worlds and stars long forgotten. You were kind of shit at keeping them. Not my problem. Yeah, well, I'm glad I have the multi-melter. Blessed um, be the road that we take. Night Shroud, five bucks, thank you very much. Ail all hail Arch, what kind of compa companions would you like to see in DLC? I fun like see a Jokaro and or a fire warrior. Do you require inquisitorial approval? A Jokaro would work pretty well. Do I detect yeah, doubt I'd, in I'd like voice. a Jokaro. I guide humanity between the stars. A Raven God Space doubt Marine would be kind of cool. Weak. I'd like a Raven God, you know. So something more Space Marine it's would be neat. Time. Um, a, 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 a blank, like um, like uh, Bekwa Kinska, right? From what was it, Bekwa Kinska? From the was it Bekwa? From the Eisenhorn novels, you know. Uh, she, she was pretty cool. I liked her backstory too. Like she's really hot, and she's working as a whore, and she's like, God, I'm really hot, and I'm literally having sex with people. Why don't they like me? It's like, ah, because you're a physical abomination. Not your fault. Fabricator sensor Cubius Delphin. You, the probability of navigating your way, of reaching the inner line, was negligible. Primordial truth guards me and my work, and why is it that this variable has yet to be eliminated? Hmm. You are a talking piece of refuse, yes. Yeah, step back. How dare you insult me? Your insolence is an unexpected factor. No matter, the error will soon be rectified soon. Well, the stuff is nightmare together. Oh, that's adorable. What part of the writing team wrote this? Whoever they are, shoot them. Shoot them now. Attacking is the only option here. <laughs> really? Two of them? Okay. This feels unfair. This feels... Okay. All right, it's just, it just kind of casually stepped on them. Witness the weapon designed to carry the glory of the true gods into the darkness of the Coronas Expanse. My shepherd has sent me one of his iron angels, so that its very presence may instill faith and awe in the hearts of his flock. Accept the greatness of the primordial truth. United with the might of new Kiawakama, and perish. You know... That would have been a lot more impressive if it, you know, worked, weren't for the fact that, yeah, I got a, another one back, you know, there. Um, that's, uh... And you'll die quickly. That, that kind of undermines it a little bit. You're like, mm, look at this enormous thing. Wow, it's amazing. It's like, oh, it's, it's just like the other one you've got back there. That's absolutely fantastical. Oh, hey, I leveled up. I can't level up in combat, can I? No, no, I can't. Right, uh, there's not actually a whole lot of cover anywhere, is there? Um, there really, 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 really sort of kind of isn't, is there? 
Right, Pascal, you can go over there and be like a roadblock, and Hendrix, you can go over there, I guess. Um, I mean, I prefer you on the front line, Cassio, where you can do the most damage. Argenta, uh, um, God, I feel like there's going to be a lot of range damage here that I'm not really in a good position to deal with, to be entirely honest. That is foolishness. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Pascal, would you like to open proceedings by gently tickling its pickle? <sighs> Pascal, you fucking disappointment. You are ironic fucking disappointment, you. Right, um, well, that is gonna do some damage to it, which is neat. Um, hmm. Faith without deeds is worthless. Okay, so As the Emperor shoot it. I act. Nice. What does that do? Oh, hello. That's a ranged attack, is it? Oh, well, that's kind of cute. I mean, they're all too scattered to make much use of it right now, but it's nice now. Alright, the multi-melter does chunk it quite nicely. Its uh, primary protection comes from its literal walking mountain side of armor, I would presume. Which does, does somewhat make sense. At least it doesn't have that retarded back attack thingy um, that the other one had. Cause. I am not right. your Xenos pet monkey. If it serves your cause. Let's try to start stacking some bonuses, shall this we? This tedium is beneath me. I understand your intent. And hunker down. I hear you moving. No more. Right, that's one stack of prey. You will perish for this affront. Okay. All right. Uh, I'd expected worse. I I I had un, I'd actually expected worse. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. That was that wasn't that bad. That was that was okay. That was okay. That was not. As terrible as I thought it might be. Still kind of awful, but not as bad as I thought it would be. Right. If I may. Put that on you. Witness our Cassio's ability to hit the entire fucking known universe with a single ability. If you insist, Lord Captain. Very nice, very nice, Argenta. Isn't this a job for the serfs? <coughs> okay, we'll pop. Attack the press with advantage next turn. Henrix, my dear. Um, I'd kind of like you to heal those. Get me first. a target. But of course, Lord Captain. Buff yourself. Let's see to it. Cast down in feeble. You really can't kill that guy in one hit, can you? Okay, come on. Buff yourself. Yeah, then, true. then kill him. I need a better melee yeah. weapon for him. I need to look through my inventory if I can find something a little bit wackier. Good job. Nice, that did absolutely nothing. And then stands Arch there, in the middle of nowhere, wondering... Wondering how he's the only one who doesn't seem to have any cover anywhere. Oh well. And Pascal... Nothing I can't do. You are the one who's going to get your ass shat on the most viciously. An orchestrated firestorm would be lovely here. Do it. Very nice. Got Kazia kind of tore a hole out of Pascal as well, but I'm getting kind of used to that, so that's fine. Already done. 
por de uy. I wish I could protect him all myself. Alright. I managed to stun Pascal, of course, with that, because, you know, naturally, but. Uh... The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! If I do wildfire, yes. If I do wildfire, I can kill that. Probably. I refuse. I'll do it. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Nice. Reload for free. Change weapon over to the bolter. And could shoot him several times. Do I want to shoot him several times? Four times? I mean, why wouldn't I? Nice. If I must. Oh, you finally started doing the uh, the rapid buffy thing, have you? Nice. I am not your school. You grunt this a lot. Tedium is beneath me. I don't know if I like it. I'll live another day. You know, for someone so fucking massive, your weaponry is not really that impressive. If I may. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. I don't know, I, I expected... I am a navigator, not a servitor. I expected more from Call Inferior here, Do honestly. Ask. I'm pretty sure the rando nobodies in his forge does more Everyone damage than he does. Step aside. No, you don't get to kill him. Focus. You go fight that one. Focus. I, I get to kill him. Not a problem for me. Well, I guess he's gonna live another turn then. Quest <sighs> approved. The undesired condemns you. I'm getting disappointed by God Archer's skills and weapons fire, fire, honestly. You little fucking whore! I <sighs> understand your intent. The Xenos. Of course it was the fucking Xenos. Remind me why I brought her again? Isn't this a job for the serfs? Eh, damn it. You don't frighten me! For the throne's holy terror, smite your enemies. I won't object to it. Not my specialty. Oh, come on, give me. All too easy. Give, 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 give me this kill then. Come on. Already done. Could it happen? You cannot change this path. No, nah, well, I killed it. It's fine. Nobody saw that. It's okay. Jesus. None shall stand in my way. That overheat gets a bit vicious, doesn't it? Well, that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. I don't know. I, th I thought that would be a really tough fight. Um, apparently, apparently not. But this is skill reduced by 20. I'll lay claim to the stars. Motherfucking 20. Mm, no. Mm, no. I'm gonna walk all the way back to the fucking door opening again. Sir and fix that, I think. Notanferia says, If you were in the Inquisition, which of the three orders majoris, majoris would you prefer to work for? Well, I mean, Ordo Xenos gets to play with cat girls. So that's pretty fun. And the Inquisition has to deal with creepier shit, though. Yeah, no, Ordo Xenos. Ordo Xenos, I think.
But why? I'm just going to fix my arm. Sharp pain pierces your head and the light dims in your eyes. You smell smoke and burning. You feel a wave of nausea. Your legs buckle and your knees hit the metal floor in the same moment. The manufactorum surrounding you disappear in a whirlwind of mist, ash, and grey shadows. Struggling against the elements, you can barely raise your head to look. Your eyes sting and burn, but through the tears you see it, a colossal silhouette rising above you. The roaring tempest is unable to shake the mighty figure. Well, that didn't work out very well. Oh, hey, it's Erebus. Writhing in pain, you raise your head and peer into the roiling darkness. You make out the figure's features. It's a huge man clad in dark power armor, from which demonic silhouettes snarl at you. The wind picks up, and you close your eyes, unable to stare into the face of this raging tempest. I am the master of those who have been felled by a hand in the halls of the primordial truth. I am Uralon the Cruel. Not a very, not a very innovative name there, Uralon. The souls of my followers returned to the fountain of power they served, crying out for me to cast my gaze towards this sacrilege. And what do I see? Yet another lackey of the corpse emperor. Giant's voice causes the storm raging around you to die down somewhat, as if the very sound of his voice is enough to make the whirlwind subside. You glance at the huge warrior and note in his chest a winding azure symbol. The shades of blue seem to glinter and mingle together. I am the sovereign of Kawagama. This is my world, not a domain of chaos. Oh, clinging to illusions will do you no good. The rituals have already been performed. The mortals are already singing the litanies of the primordial truth, or decorating the sacrificial altars with their flesh. Kawagama, as you call it, is already saturated in the nectar of the truth, a fate that awaits all worlds that would stand in our way. What do you want with me? I want to look upon the ones who has disrupted my flock's duties and my master's plans. That warrior from my legion, the Fabricator Sensor, is definitely not from your legion. It, I, guaranteeably not. You think of their death as a triumph. However, it is but a minor hindrance on so our the path. There are other worlds that serve our goals. There are other sources of plasteel and adamantine. Revel in your victory. It will change nothing. I'm more than even one. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, one. Why? Two. Why would they want it? Three. No! Nevertheless, the blood in your veins whispers to the spirits that you warrant a closer look. Yes, you are a descendant of the rogue trader whose warrant Contrag Voitviger sought to obtain. By defiling the relic and binding it to himself with the tethers of the Imperium, he was meant to become my servant. A rogue trader who would do the work of the truth. But then you interfered. Could it be that you wish to gain the true god's favor instead? Do you wish to present the corpse relic to me and serve the truth? Hear your very blood calling, begging you to submit? What would be the point of futile defiance? My willpower is kind of shit, but I'm going to try it. Well, well. Iconoclast then. Get fucked, dickhole. Pitiful insects, you dare! And then the cutscene ends. I sense the presence of another Psyker. Someone made contact with you mentally, then tried to harm you with sorcery. I did what I could. You at least appeared unharmed. Can you remember what you saw? Oh, nothing. Fluffy diamonds and elephants and that sort of stuff. You know, your average mushroom trip. Mm, yeah, I don't think I'm going to tell the, uh, the Inquisitor about the blood in my way in serving chaos. I don't, I don't think that's wise. It's like, well, you see, interrogator, a massive chaos space marine just emerged in front of me. Uh, Plus, more mission, let's just survive to succumb to the heretics. Purify and restore no matter the cost, of course. But we're not quite done here just yet. What do you see, interrogator? A massive chaos space marine with little horns appeared in front of me. Now, he called himself cruel or something or other. And he said that I was born to serve chaos. Wow, well, isn't that weird? Why are you, uh... Why are you checking your plasma pistol, Henrix? Victory awaits. I don't feel like he... I don't feel like he deserves to know. I feel like Henrix deserves to labor in the darkness of his own misconceptions a while longer.
There, I've fixed my arm. Now we can plunge yet further deeper into this awful place. Uh, Robert Wasworth, an idea I had would be to do a major upgrade to the current companions like Pascal into a form like a fabricator boss here. A new yeah, challenge I can see for that. me? And also major story upgrades, like Argenta needs to be romanceable, Irulet needs to be into bestiality because, you know. Oh, that was the exit? Bitch. What's, what do you mean that was just the exit? Like, oh, that was just the... Oh, yeah, you just leave that way. Okay, fine. The Dark Marchesa. Uh, that looks uh, objectively worse than the one I gained in here, so no. The Hand of Xenocide. Well. <laughs> well. That's certainly tempting. Uh, I don't have a lot of mechanisms or weapons. That sounds retarded and dumb. Yeah, that one, definitely. Alright, well that fixes that, I suppose. I need to have a look through my inventory and all the stuff I found. Marley, to be fair, Call is especially terrible at fighting, as in as in it's stated in his own books, he'd miss an Imperator with a solar atomizer. Cole is his shit, and Cole needs to be ashamed of himself. That's that's basically all that remains of Cole's character. Just a big, big old bag of shame and dicks, in my opinion. Right, so I don't know how to get down there. I'm tempted to make my own path, actually. So I'm presuming those two are connected. Let's save. And see, because I can't see any... simple way to go down there. And I want to see what's down there. Huh. Nothing. It's not even connected. Uh, oh no, I haven't tried roads yet. Okay. You know, we could also cheat a little bit here, couldn't we? Yes. If I go over there. Chart no roots. No. There are no connections. Interesting. Because I figured I would notice that connection there now. Because now that you explore the roots, it should show you the connections, right? But these, these appear to be genuinely isolated systems, interestingly enough. Yeah, there's no... Oh, wow, okay. So these, these are sort of kind of secret, I guess, then, anyway. All right. Well, in that case, they're probably worth the warp points. Maybe. Possibly. And Cthulhu and Ethem, uh, Malbrag, in my playthrough, Cassio reduced the boss to 400 health and the entrance to 200 each, then Argenti took a bolter plus and with an one burst shot did 250 ish damage to the boss and one shot an engine. That is very nice. Let's see. Is there anything cute? Mars Pattern Lazgun, that's not particularly adorable. Melta Ultima. Well, that sounds cute. Nothing particularly interesting for you. Hunter's Canopus. I mean, that's just a flat upgrade to my armor. And it does look cool, so sure, why not? Shifting Combat Tool grants 20% tech use. That's not actually a terrible idea. So my persuasion is already... Ridiculously high, and honestly, I don't bring Pascal all that much, so yes, I will take that. Melee attack, that's not going to help me at all. Bonus temper to logic, what is that under it? Uh, commerce and Lord Imperium. Commerce, Lord Imperium, I'll keep those. 
Templar skill at 25 critical damage. That's pretty good for me, actually. Plasma is one plus three. Okay, so 25% critical damage or plus three base to plasma weapons. See, plus three is nice because it's just three damage regardless. But 25% crit is guaranteedly a lot more than that. What even is my crit rate, I wonder? I don't actually... I don't actually know. I feel like I crit fairly frequently, but... Mm. Uh, so there are there to get Okay, sure. I don't have any boots regardless. Medical check? No. Two X rate of fire damage. That sounds like something that would be great for Argenta. Yes. Oh god, that looks hideous. Oh god, that looks terrible, but uh... Yeah, I don't care about the parry thing in Melee, that's kinda dumb anyways. One phase concept turn, the weather has not spent. That's kind of nice. Potentially. Kind of nice. Because Argenta doesn't necessarily move a whole lot. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Uh, right, so the Big Melter does 21 to 28, 60%, uh, 75%. Melt Scorching Area, so this one is just... It's one to two less damage, but it has greater range and 15% armor penetration. Yeah, that is obviously superior, no doubt about it. I need a proper heavy bolter, because this one's just not good enough. I need a I need, I need a proper heavy bolter. Still don't have any power armor, of course. Might as well give you another medical bag or two, just because. Alright, you, I'm guessing you want that. 1624? I mean, it's not a massive upgrade, but here. And 13 to 20. There we go. Didn't pick up any Xenos nonsense, of course. And you've pretty much been wearing the exact same gear since I picked you up, because you don't really need a whole lot more, do you? No, you can pretty much wreck the entire enemy team just naked, frankly. Doesn't, doesn't seem to be an issue. That's probably better. She can't revel in slaughters, so that's fairly pointless. Persuasion, you don't really need that. Recoil of weapons, you don't need that. Fellowship in commerce, you don't really need that. I guess you can carry that. Uh, awareness. Hmm, right. Not a ton of new toys, but it's, it's something, it's something. Now, what do these secretive systems have to reveal, I wonder? Well, no Chaos Fleet's presence. That's nice.
Prometheum. I have 14 units of Prometheum. That's... Pretty good. I'm not too worried about that. Ice World. Okay. Let's see. Uh, and these are technically the ones that chat paid for, so we will bring the, the pay-to-play team. The harem, of course. Of course chat would pay for the harem. Of course every... Yes, all the women. We don't care about the men. Even though Adelblad is such a good guy. Do you see that? I do. It's a bum. Oh, hi. Um, if I click that, I know which path... I... Yep, I knew it. I'm restless. <laughs> I say. If I click the that, I know which way Argento's gonna go. The Emperor favors me today. There. I failed. Headless body. Noth nothing definitive can be said about it. Really? None really. shall stand in my way. No nothing definitive can be said about the headless body. You I'm can't, still new to the art of exploring. You can't at least be like, I know what killed this person. This task should have been accomplished easily. It should have, Argenta, but you were the one who tried, and... Injuries will not slow me. I'm sorry, Argenta, but you're a bit retarded. Chaos fucking marines, okay. Ah, uh, okay, How oh, that's, uh... I tire of idleness. Let's That's move. That's sudden. Have I wandered outside of my uh, my level area? Hmm. And also total advantage. That's good. I was going momentum. Make one more. Uh, one more. Whenever the message is there, let's press fire. Oh, odd. That's good. Against all odds. Uh, 27. It was 30 for the next psycho, was it? Mind over matter. These are actually psycho thingies. So many categories. None of which mean anything to me whatsoever. And guy of souls. Uh, movement points. Irrelevant. Mm. Service guarantees citizenship. Extra critical hit chance, that's not bad. Sure, good enough. Uh, demolition, you definitely do need it, Argento. You've been performing remarkably poorly with your 90 demolition for a while now. Um, Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> I really need to give you power armor. I can't give you Service power armor, yet, can I? Citizenship. Oh, heavy armor. Dracani, plasma, melter, solid, power, power weapon. Oh god, I wish there was a search function. Medica, persuasion, demolition, coercion, athletics, persuasion, tech use, logic, demolition, awareness, training, 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 strength, ballistic, heavy weapons, dual weapon, Drakari, Aldere, heavy armor. Uh, 
It's not a characteristic, is it? I have I have lost shit. Heavy armor, uh, power armor. There, you already have this feature. I already have it. Have I already? Okay, that's never mind then. Shield of Faith. At least that will give it a bit more defense against one sort of enemy. Hunting Surge. Withdraw. Just, just whatever gives you more damage, honestly, honey. Spying Trophy. All of these are so goddamn situational. It's like, if you do this thing, then this thing happens if you're within the range of this thing. Like, I'm not going to be able to think of that. Here, have some Drukari weapon effect of efficiency. Why? I've, because it'll make you sad, that's why. That is why. Sire rating. Okay, you got that. And that is unlocked at level 30. Yep. Why would you make me have that? Because it makes you sad. Awareness. None of this actually matters, so perception... Melting armor. Oh, that does sound sound fun. Ooh. All right. J. Beacon of might. Nonsense. 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 Uh, weapon skill, sure, why not? Coercion. Toughness. La. Counterattack stance. Sherin. Speaking of, did I find anything interesting for you? Nope, not really, no. Uh, improved injector. None of these are really all that useful. Fire damage? Oh, you already got one of those. Any magic staffs? See, the thing is, I just like... I like the lightning arc. I don't... I don't want to give up the lightning arc. The lightning arc is great! Siphon life. Why would I want that when I have lightning arc? Can you use that? You can't. Didn't I pick up a Drukari glaive somewhere along the way? Ooh, actually, that is way better than what you have, isn't it? But it doesn't have burst damage. But then again, she misses all of the burst damage. Eh, Jay can make do. I don't like it's her much anyways. Time. All right, save. Uh, so, yeah, I don't hear much. You're going to get railed here. Oh, Victory I th awaits. I feel like I've wandered see what I outside of my leveling sphere. But suit word bearers, base Burden or cringe. Failure, the most cringe, terrible definitely. Punishment. I'll lay claim to the stars. Stop. There. 
Nice demolition difficulty. Plus thirty percent. She's still got a seventy-five percent chance to succeed. She still fails I miserably. Won't tolerate weakness. It's kind of remarkable. Oh god, there's a lot of them, huh? Yeah, this definitely feels like a place I shouldn't be just yet. These people fought to the last breath. Well, that's nice for them. Would you look at that? Third try, Argenta. Can you fix this one? I no. failed. Follow my lead. I know, I know. You you do that. With what I can only refer to as stunning frequency, frankly. What is it? Oh, oh yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay. Yes. Ready as always. Does something trouble you, Lord? We shall prevail. Right. State your intention. Well, for shits and giggles, we might as well try it a little bit, right? Stop trying, monkey. Ancestors Heed guide me. Cries of mercy. Okay. Hi there. You're, uh... Oh, wow. Hi. Okay, you're all linked together, huh? Boy, there's a lot of you. Hmm. I uh, figured I'd be stealthy. I, I guess not. Um. Right. I think. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do this in a slightly more advantageous position. Yeah. Miro, the cringiest, correct. And Sajad, read stable routes. Read stable routes. What is stable routes? Okay, it's about time. Right. well, we're gonna go back here, Misa thinks. And I'm presuming this is heavy cover. We must act. I'm hoping. Color the uncolored. So shall I it be. I tire of idleness, let's move. My whispers right. crave entertainment. Dinner. Let's make a deal. Jay. When the faithful are idle, heresy. Psalm choose wealth. Sins hidden in the heart turn Speak, all... Speak, Elan Tark. You love to take charge, don't you? How may I serve the dynasty? Trading is what just... What is it? Right. Here, go piss that one off. If it your cause. No Submit, weakness is hidden from my quickly. sight. Death to the false emperor. I didn't do a lot of damage, did it? Oh, boy. All right. Am I hunkered down? Um... Go back there for now. All right. Ferocious Hellbrute to boot. Not just a Hellbrute, a Ferocious Hellbrute. If I may. <sighs> if I must. <clears throat> Irolet continues to gently plonk off his armor. Right. Uh, this prey. tedium is beneath me. And pray. I'm not your Xenos pet, monkey. And pray. And I'll give her her buffs. Once they're dead, at least. Don't you die. Okay. Right. Yep. Not leveled for this one. Yep. Like, I have as long range as a sniper rifle, and I do 110 damage per hit. Okay. None shall stand in Silly my video way. game player. This isn't a thing where you play naturally. This is a place where you have just random areas, there which the enemies will wait for you for all eternity until you're ready for them and leveled for them. That's what this place is. Sure. Uh, for all of the problems of scaling difficulty, I do kind of hate that as well. When you arrive at a place and you're just like, hey, can I be here? I'm like, no, you haven't leveled enough yet. Go grind somewhere else. I'm like, okay. Well, off to go grind somewhere else I go, I suppose. Uh, where are my objectives at this point? Find the seal on Dark Onus. That was some other dumbass quest, wasn't it? Can 
kind of want to go over there to figure out what those are. Forgotten twins. Haven't been there yet. Oh, God. I really wish you could rapid travel, because uh, it just... It's mildly annoying to go like, um, oh, yep. Wait a bit. Let it do its thing. Click the next one. Wait a bit. Uh, wait a bit. Move to the next one. Wait a bit. Right, I can travel up there immediately from there, which is nice. I guess Dagonus is the only other thing remaining. Foulstone, colony requires the Lord Captain's attention. Well, Foulstone, you're just gonna have to wait. I'm busy traveling slowly across the map. There. And nothing. <laughs> okay, well. Scan. Uh, all right, let's see if I'm properly leveled for this area then. And save. As I would like to not go Steel through the traversal again. Kin, not considered treason among the monkey. Or has greed so blinded you that you do not fear retribution? It all depends on where you're coming from. A crime that means a death sentence for some is freely permitted for others. I just try to keep on top of my game and not let any opportunities pass me by. Well, that does look mildly unusual. Victory awaits. Cast your eye there. Cracked Xeno chest. Alright. A new challenge for me. This Xeno species usually just kept their stuff in weird purple boxes. No one quite knows why or how, but they seem to have liked the color purple and spiky stuff. The fact that you seemingly cut I your hand every time you open your weakness. pantry was apparently a design flaw that the Xenos did not particularly mind. Trap? Or treasure. None shall stand in my way. Video my game. Warp site reveals something. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you going to make me do some None kind of better at searching? Bouncing the light puzzle here. I think you are, aren't you? Would be proud my reckoning me. will be swift. Do you right. require an audience? The Emperor sets my path. Be strong. Greater trials lie ahead. The pain <sighs> will subside. Thank See you. Bright no, where were we? Greater trials lie ahead. I hold I you must... a debt. Thank you. Ministration is a holy task. And a frequent one at that. The pain will subside. <sighs> Just in time. You're gonna make me do some kind of bounce in the light puzzle. I just fucking know it. It's about time. Alright, video game, how does one bounce the light? Mm-hmm. And I'm guessing that's the target. Right. My lead. Is there some sort of logic to these, or do they just kind of, like, bounce? I guess... do you try to... Victory awaits! It seems the pattern no longer works. It 
see. I okay. won't tolerate so weakness. So I need to recreate these patterns? Is that what you want from me, video game? Hmm, yeah, because that's wrong. Oh, okay, they can hit multiple things. Dare you. None shall stand in my way. Oh, good, it punishes you for playing with it. I do like that. Like, here's a puzzle. Oh, cool. Don't press it too many times, though, or we'll punish you. Like, what? I'm literally just trying to figure out the methods of the puzzle. Yes. I don't care. Alright. Mm, no. It's about time. This is going to get time consuming and annoying, and I do not have either time or the annoyance to spare. I wonder if anyone ever engages with these puzzles anymore. I'm, I'm actually genuinely wondering. Because my, my first and only reaction when I see a puzzle in a video game now is to sigh heavily and then just look up how to solve it. <laughs> that, that is like my only thing now. I never engage with puzzles. Because it's just... Because I know I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to sit there and figure that one out. And I don't take particular pleasure in the process. Nor do I find it interesting either. It's just like, okay, you know, this is a puzzle. It's a part of the video game for somebody else to enjoy. This little mountain chain is composed entirely of minerals with shiny mirror-like surface. The mineral itself has no particular value for production, but its proprieties make this place incredibly beautiful. The sky is brilliantly reflected in the many surfaces of the plateau's oddly shaped rocks, stone arches, and columns. The view is especially stunning on clear starry nights or when aurora trails dance in the sky. The enraptured crew have asked Lord Captain's permission to visit the remarkable place. I feel like you're going to get eaten. But sure, why? Why not? Go ahead. The shore leave passed without incident. Call me surprised. And the ship's officers talked about it for weeks afterwards. The place made a particularly impression on Lady Hedera, and she could be heard saying over and over, this would make a fine spot for a palace, and pity you can't bring highborns here on tours. Huh. Nothing bad happened. That's unusual. As soon as you draw closer to another ship, it points its loaded cannons directly at you. Several of the ships emerge from the shadows of drifting asteroids, tightly encircling you. Captain Janta Labouche offers a mocking greeting and a proposition. You can buy your way out of this, but the price must be to her sole satisfaction. The outrageous suggestion sends your crew into a fury. You are in a no-win scenario. You can enter an uneven fight and lose everything, or shamefully pay to save your skin, sacrificing only your pride. Uh, attack, of course. Ah, uh, that was not the button I wanted to grab. I mean, that's the solution too, I guess. Well, thank you, Cinnamon Bun Kitten. You made that a lot easier. <laughs> One misclick later, and you're out of the situation. Well. Now, how does one get down there? Meh. But, Captain, will you not engage with our traveling events? No. But why? Sick of them. See, <laughs> this is one of the problems with all of these uh, games like these with the random events, right? It, it's like, oh god. I'm sure some of you must have played, um, was, it, was it Fallout 2? Or was it, was it 1? Oh boy, well that looks unhealthy. I think it was... Was it 2? Two? 2 had an overhead map that you had to traverse. Oh, was it... I, I, I can't remember for the life of me now. But it had an overhead map, right? Where you had to traverse to between the various, like... Uh, was it 1? 
God, it's been too long. But you had to traverse the overhead map, and you would randomly get attacked by stuff. And the first couple of times, you were like, okay, this is kind of neat. Same with if Fallout Tactics had it as well. And it had some really cool events where you found, like, uh, the last survivors of the A Canadian War who attacked me? you. Or you come across uh, uh, War, for example, and he's all weakened and stuff. Like, I am a horseman so. of the apocalypse. Arr. But he's, he's weakened because War has eradicated humanity and they can kill him. But most of them are just, like, attack dogs. Like, fight fight these hounds for a bit. Fight these things. And like, I, I don't... I don't like these things. And it's funny for a bit. And then it gets really not funny at all. <coughs> Yay. Victory awaits! Uh. Lord Captain, our skin appears to be melting uh, off our bones. Stop hitting me! Yep. Ashmark. Indeed it does. You will pay an even greater price. I did fine. Pain cleanses the body. Why did I not foresee this? I don't know. Why did you not foresee I'll this? I'll claim to the, the stars. Of exploring. I rise to the occasion. I'm not injured. I'm enraged. Mm. Excellence matters. Oh, you're definitely injured. But don't worry about it. I'm sure it will all heal up just fine when we get back onto the ship You'll again. So this. don't worry about it. That's fine. It's okay. Stop Argenta, it. if you'd be so kind. You will perish for this. I shall stand services. in my way. See, this, this is this is kind of cool that because. My blood? Once you're Done. doing this, at least there's some clearly something weird going on, right? Yeah. I rise to the occasion. There's something mysterious. I won't tolerate weakness. <sighs> okay, now I'm really riled up. Why I'm is restless. this place filled with melting toxin? It's Argenta. Why can you not move like a normal human being? Ah, enjoy your luck while you still draw breath. Can I fall and back now? Done. What's going to see the new challenge for me? Military operations, eh? Uh, Alright, how much deeper is this place? Follow my lead. I have an eye for treasure. You do, apparently. I will endure. Multi key. Take it. Uh, my faith shields Excellence me. matters. My uh, presence has failed me. A valve. Request status on the bunker's life support. Yeah, how, how is it? Uh, shit. <laughs> well. Thank you. Air filters damaged. Hmm. Emergency ventilation system. Request an air duct system malfunction detected. Activate automated defense systems. Don't do that. That seems silly. I'll live another day. All I'll right. lay claim to the stars. I'm not injured. I'm enraged. Does that make it better? Man shall stand in my way. No. Mocking me. <laughs> All right, let's go back up to orbit then. Why did I not foresee this? And back down again. <laughs> Red Fox Media donates five dollars. Thank you very much. Best part of D and D is when PCs are hiding anything they do is a new roll. Uh, when the baddies are hiding, you don't get a roll to avoid an ambush. Yes, see, it's about time. That is a delicate balance between making My players will be swift. roll for actions Victory awaits. that are you know reasonable. 
and making players roll in the hope that they fail. But there, there's also a point where, yes, if you are taking an action, okay. there are there are certainly reasons to make people roll for certain that actions as well. Was insulting. Whilst at the same time, it also can come can across as very much so uh, instincts. stacking modifiers-esque. Decade scroll. Really? The scroll survived, did it? No. Everything else is melting to the point where my skin really is literally do. slothing off my face. But this paper scroll, this paper <gasps> scroll is fine. I won't tolerate weakness. Weird. Mysterious, one might even say. Fallout Tactics was a really fun game. You will perish the for this affront. favors me today. I don't know why people don't like tactics. I really don't. I, I really this? actually don't know why people don't like tactics. Like everyone I know who's mm. sort of heard about tactics, like yeah, that game wasn't Fallout at all. It was not. It was a terrible game. It's like you are in the presence of House Orselio. In many ways, yeah, it was not a Fallout game. You know, intelligent speaking, death in claws, and all way. that. The joints up with the Brotherhood of Steel, and so on. Me. Absolutely. It was a little bit off the fucking what walls. The world? Oh, zero, zero, zero. Okay. Insufficient power. Right. Enjoy your luck while you still draw breath. Mm, and it's how does one turn time. on the power? Stop it! Pain cleanses the body. So in drinking water, it's only half Can full. Can I fall back now? I mean, yes, in any reasonable scenario, the road trader wouldn't be doing this himself. Uh, what's blind? Backup generator connected. Ha, I'll live another day. I mean, let's see what happens if you turn on the guns, I guess. Oh, is that my blood? I'll lay claim to the stars. All right. Why did I, I not foresee this? No idea where the power generator is. Or what the power generator does. Where if I need, because I, I was picking up okay. things. Okay, now I'm really riled up. But I guess I was supposed to turn on the power generator. My patience has failed me. Not here, is it? No, why would it be here? No! These ruby flashes are Victory awaits! <sighs> eh, not interested enough. I did turn the valve. It didn't seem to do anything. Ah, do you need to turn it like... Okay, I'm fine. One more time. Maybe you need to turn the valve only like once or twice or something. In any normal universe, the rogue trader would not be doing this. In any Follow normal universe, lead. the rogue trader would be, hey, send people down in massive-ass rubberized hazmat suits that can survive the environment, and then... <sighs> Stop hating me! Ashlag. You know, let the engine seers fix the crew, fix it? Oh. Right, turn the valve. I did that already, but let's Emperor, see. deliver us! Uh, okay. Uh, success, press filtration. Okay, did I fix it? None shall stand in my way. I already did that, though. A no. new challenge for me? The future you see could be the whispers no. of the arch enemy. That turned How the power on too? How can you trust your visions, Adira? <laughs> I don't think that's the question you wanted to ask. What you wanted to ask was, how can others bring themselves to trust a despicable psyker like me? Face it, sister. Not everybody's as pig-headed as you are. Wow, it's you're very time. aggressive with one another, you know that? Was that it? I won't tolerate weakness. Guy. Guess so. 
Alright, sure. We found a bunker. It was filled with uh, stuff. Never left again. Oi, tarts. I guide humanity between the stars. You locked the fucking door behind you, you little idiots. Come on. A now, Fallout Tactics were actually pretty good. It was a lot more Fallout Tactics than certain other Fallout games, you know, recent ones. Oh no, the automated defense more system. Defense judgment. We are truly blessed this day. Mm, what a terribly quizzical turn of events. I'll just be behind you. Fuller Tactics had a nice restoring the wasteland story too, you know? See why did I not foresee this? Oh, is the air filtration system off again? Hmm. One of the things I quite enjoyed was that whilst the Brotherhood of Steel itself is obviously a lot more confrontational in the things it does, so we put it like that. Wow, that was not a whole lot of damage. The Brotherhood of Steel in that story were far more if it serves your cause. trying to I understand your intent. save the wastelands, right? And I'm imagining a lot of people were actually kind of annoyed by that, because that's not necessarily what the Brotherhood of Steel does, which is fair enough. If you know. I must, fortune favors the swift. This tedium but is beneath me. Maybe it would have been better off as just a completely different setting. That is very possible. Like, uh, Wasteland, for example, could have done it, that right? Is for the weak. Because going around, talking to the various tribes, recruiting them, dealing with bandit threats, etc. All of that was a lot of fun. It was a really, really cool game. And it was bloody as fuck. Especially for the time. Good god. Like, <laughs> this is something that modern games I'll do it. don't get. Right? Unlike the, the older style games. Like, Diablo was a bloody game. Diablo was a really Is bloody that my game. Blood? Everything just blows the shit up in these old games, you On know? It. 2D blood is so much gorier than modern day blood. When you shot somebody in Fallout Tactics, oh my god, like... With an SMG, like full auto, for example, they don't like in, in, th in this game does a, does actually have some decent blood effects as well, right? They don't simply just watch my back, fall apart, or like they they get a piece of them blown off or something Tell like that. Me, no, 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 and no. it is done. They would physically recoil back I as can do that. pieces of them you. were. B Jay, you are okay. Remarkable. Now I'm really riled up. I'm a and as you just continue to hammer bullets into them. Oh, I, I love that so much. I'll bring glory to my bloodline. What has learned? <laughs> Mocking me. I keep forgetting that that Nothing is apparently Cassius ranged. <laughs> I keep expecting her to maybe, you know, send Shoot out one of her purposes. psychic powers or something. But no, she always just covers the entire map in that. Hmm. Nothing of value has been lost. And when you played with stuff like, um, all too easy. Oh god, like the chains, a chain. What's it like? Chain fists or something? Or no, chain knives. If it oh. serves your cause. You would just carve people into side. bits. That was that was fun. That was a lot of fun. That was a very good game. Hard as balls, though, mind you. Like ridiculously hard. Like I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. There was there was like you had to play Me? that game like quick saving insist, like every five to seconds to have at least. any chance of getting anywhere in the game whatsoever. And even then, later levels you could absolutely get killed by like one shot. Like when you run into the robot <laughs> They could um, reduce your dudes so. to just molten puddles of plasma, blood, and slag in a single hit. I am not your Xenos pet with fortune favors the swift. With absolute contemptuous ease, in fact. Where still was when you ran into stuff like the uh, the tank robots, because they were tank robots. 
there was actually uh, vehicle combat in the game, Faith which was deeds is really interesting at the time, because we didn't As have much Emperor about it either. Commands, uh, one act. mission, for example, they're fighting against uh, super mutants, so you've got to stay inside of your of course, uh, APC, because the APC is literally the only way to survive the incredibly hostile environment outside of the APC. So if you try to step outside of it, Don't your entire squad coffee. just gets ripped apart in two seconds. Because that's where the uh, the Brotherhood of Steel paladins fight, you know? That's where the Nothing big I boys and the do. super mutants go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And your team is simply not Search equipped to purposes. deal with that. Ah, I always thought that was really cool as well. Step aside. The and then you got a tank. Coming. And that was very good because you ended up dealing with robots. And the robots were really mean. And basically Terminators, and they'd murder you. You don't frighten me. I've missed the taste of death. Such is their will. Follow my lead. And there we go. Ah, oh, dumb little bunker, but still. And if you lost a character, the characters were permadeath character. Uh, this covered available card has already been brought aboard. Okay, so I've got some cargo too, that's nice. Uh, so there were only a there were, there were only a set amount of characters in the game, a set amount of recruits that you could get. And you would unlock more as the story progressed. So when you were uh, recruited like a, a nearby village of savages, um, they would actually join up with you, and they would actually bring adamantium. I've got dickle adamantium. Yeah, and we'll put down extra the there. Trophies. The sight before you has excited the officer corps who are delighted to witness the truly majestic end of this planet through the huge window on the bridge. One of many nameless worlds throughout the expanse, an unknown reason calls the planet to break into several uneven parts. But a strong magnetic field is still preventing them from drifting into the cold abyss of space. The planet's hard inner core has remained almost untouched as thousands of explosions taking place under its shell of hard metal light up the world's heart from the inside. The Orca crew detect several ruined extractoriums on the broken planet's surface, but analysis shows somebody used to mine adamantine here, but abandoned the deposit after the catastrophe. Most of the machines are damaged beyond repair, but the tech abbots claim one of the complex can be restored if the rogue trader has the required parts and equipment. Sure, go ahead. I take it aboard, because I already got a mine there anyways. Uh, the limited amount of recruits then meant that if you got somebody dead, which happened very often, he was dead dead. He, he was dead 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 and gone dead. Uh, Quetzaltemia, whatever that was. So if you've all, and, and they all have a s specific stats as well. So there's only so many people that can be snipers. There's only so many people that can be like uh, heavy weapons experts. And so if you lose one of them, that's a sniper gone from the game permanently. Oh, it was fucking harsh. When the road trader's ship draws near the unidentified celestial body, the machine spirits on every deck from the captain's bridge to the cargo holds become a frantic. The engines are refusing to cooperate, sending the void ship tumbling towards the epicenter of the anomaly like an arrow toward a target. You awake after unsettled sleep to find yourself lying on a stiff cardboard mat. You overcome with strange sense of wrongness. The place is dark and reeks of body odor. Someone elbows you under the ribs and grabs you by the collar, spitting abuse. It is an enforcer patrolling the void ship, and she is clearly displeased. I've uh, switched my body, has I? Have I? That's what the problem is. The enforcer tosses you unceremoniously into a corner where similarly ragged people are scrubbing the deck. According to the sign of the bulkhead, this bay Theta 54, the lower decks. You have, have work to do. You need to get moving. Rob a guard pass and contact videos using a stolen walks. Okay, let's try that. You've been studying the enforcement for several sites now, observing shift changes, trips to the mess, games of register, and the aftermath of boosting sessions. On the fourth day during a shift change, you sneak into the small room and find a vox card that someone left behind. Upon hearing your voice, the vox master gives place to the Emperor of Humanity, who explains that you were trapped in an anomaly that made people on the ship inexplicably trade places. A rescue squad was dispatched at once to search for the Lord Captain, but you beat them to it and contacted Vigdis yourself. Yeah, I figured that was what was happening. This is the developer going like, Look, the people are oppressed. They're being treated poorly. Yeah, I know. It's fantastic, isn't it? 
It's great. And luckily, I'm not one of those. You have to wait several more ship cycles for the escort squad to make its way from the uppermost decks down to the very bottom. Informed about a high-ranking guest in the midst, the overseer of Bay Theta 54 tried to brighten your stay with passable food, a soft bed, and even a warmer water. A privilege not accorded to locals. Eventually, you see the familiar faces of escort officers who have come to retrieve you. <laughs> Teach a lesson to all that forces. I mean, I'm tempted. <laughs> See, <laughs> see, if the, I had the power, I would then go and find that enforcer, let them know exactly who I was, allow the realization to sink in a little bit, and then, I don't know, either just leaving is funny, because they then have no idea if they're going to be punished further, and the fear will be amusing enough in and of itself, or... Assign them to my personal bath as a toilet cleaner or something for a few years, I think. Yes. See, I, the Infos had no way of knowing. Exactly. See, I was thinking that I had actually maybe had, like, this was like a psychic thing. And I had my mind swapped into another body for a moment or something. So I was like, okay. A police officer grabs you and shouts you. What is the correct solution in this situation? It is to not fucking resist. <laughs> very simply. Very, very simply. There, there, is, there, is, there is no good solution that begins with, I punched the police officer. Okay? None. And I don't want to discourage them from abusing the servants, of course. Hmm. See, I can't, because punishment is too hard. Humiliation and fear is the correct solution here, not punishment. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, humiliation and fear, but uh, for the lack of humiliation and fear, we'll go with two then. Wails of despair drown out the din of the lower decks as a metal club crushes the victim's skull and bones. Dies, but. His work done, the officer sleeves you and beat you full on the attack. Home, you turn around, take one last look. <laughs> Tattered dents his arm with brooms and ranks, industrial cleaning up the enforcer's gaudy remains and pray to the god emperor for mercy. That's not quite what I had in mind, video game. When, when you said punish, I, in, I imagined something like, oh, I don't know, uh, deprivation of food rations for a while, uh, a quick little beating maybe, a whipping if we're really, if we're really gonna break out the big boy bats here, you know? Set, you know, 12 lashes have, on the upper lost. decks or something. That's fair. Beaten to death by a power maul? Not necessarily quite my definition of punishment, but hey, there we go. The box master gives praise to the Emperor of Humanity as you make your entrance to the Captain's Bridge. Vidius explains that you were trapped in an anomaly that made... I know, you told me this already. Hmm. That did indeed escalate rather swiftly. Uh, Jonathan Smith. Fire more for torturing Cassie. Be lonely with Zart. Torturing Cassie. God help me. Okay. Very well. I shall note it down. I haven't been... Okay, let's see. Where's the... Um, what is the, the goals at right now? I need to get... Since I've got the automated goal monitoring system thingity-bob now, I, I need to, like, set that up so it can track multiple goals. Because right now it's torturing Cassie. $22 no, $15 yes. Uh, sex with Dark Eldar is currently yes as well. So we're going to have to sex with the Dark Eldar. And Space Marine. Recruit Space Marine is also currently yes. Hmm. I'm not looking forward to having sex with the Dark Elder, if I'm to be entirely honest. He's a man, too. At least, at least if it was a woman, you know, that would make a certain amount of sense. But no, no. Chat is like, what, there's a, there's a male Dark Elder in the game? Well, you're going to have to have sex with him now. Like, really? Chat thinks about weird things. Oh. Well, that's cute. Is that a little black hole or something sucking off the sucking off the star? Huh? That that term can have multiple meanings. 
God shade the screen highlights the shape of several buildings. The small settlement, the only one on the planet, is a Winster scale dynasty outpost. <laughs> Send out a party to raid the outpost. Okay, I'll, I'll pop by for a quick visit. After a lengthy descent to the planet, you are rewarded with a dismal sight. The entire outpost consists of long columns of uniform bunkhouses, machine hangars, and a large headquarters topped with the massive antenna of an ancient voxcaster. The binary suns hanging in the sky makes every object cast two shadows, a spectacle you find vaguely disturbing. Only vaguely, though. The custodian and his people go out of their way to give the esteemed guest a proper reception, but the resources are scarce at best. Talk to the custodian. The custodian shares alarming news. The outpost is highly dependent on various deliveries from the core winter scale worlds, but two ships have already failed to arrive on schedule. The locals do not have an astropath of their own, I wouldn't expect them to, so the custodian cannot determine the cause of the delay or request aid. The outpost will soon run out of food at this rate, so the custodian sends an urgent request for provisions. He is begging you for help, offering what little his settlement has in exchange. Um. Sure. Why not? I am a kind and generous over overlord. Because it shows you with gratitude, Hurst and gives him turn to the former, formerly grim and worried face. His men light up with relief. A needle rifle? How? By the Emperor's fucking codpiece do you have a needle rifle? That's some pretty exotic and heavy duty shit. Jesus! Fucking needle rifle, okay. I mean, I'm actually kind of... I don't know, 1523. It's less damage, but it's 40 armor pen plus toxin? Yeah, that's great. Fucking needle rifle. Jesus. Alright, well, that's... It's an interesting outpost, to be sure. Uh, Robert Wasworth, $50. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, no to sex with the Dark Eldar. I won't sacrifice him to the Chaos Gods. Okay. Uh, plus steel. I've got loads of plus steel. Uh, well. Sex with Dark Eldar. No. No. <laughs> sacrifice him. Service guarantees citizenship. Sacrifice him to Chaos. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, that's an even worse face than a fate than getting uh, fucked in the ass, I do suppose. I d yeah, no, actually, that's true. That is true. You you'd be difficult. It'd be a hard task to convince me to take it up the ass. But if the alternative was hell, and especially forty k hell, I'd have to think about it for a long while. You know, if hell is has been hotel hell, then no, I'll I'll go to furry hell instead. It's it's gonna take some getting used to, but you know. Better overall, but 40k hell? Mm. No, no, no. Lord Captain, there is evidence of a recent scuffle straight ahead of us. Throne, take me. This is not a frigate, this is just gutted pieces of metal. Blimey, the culprits are here too. It is the Eldari freaks. I recognize their shiny asses even from this distance. Except the Xenos are acting suspiciously. They are hovering in place, not even trying to run. To approach open fire from a distance. Call of your people, Lantak. Something is wrong. Children of Assyrian are dismayed, but doing something like this to a monk egg vessel? No, we are not animals. I don't know about that. I appeal to your prudence and the promise you made. Do not destroy my kin for the deeds they did not commit. Lord Captain, we have received a report from the Orga crew. The situation is unusual. The Sinal's ship displays no biological or energetical signatures. Even though it appears to be intact, according to the scanners, there is nobody on board. However, survivors are believed to be hid hiding in one of the compartments of the damaged vessels of the Imperium. We have also spotted some drifting plating remains that belong to a third unidentified vessel. Okay, I'll check out the... Elder Boat. Lord Captain, scouts confirmed our earlier support. The Xenos ship is intact. Many valuable artifacts have been found inside, but neither the Alderi nor their bodies were discovered. We are late again, Elantak. We are. You people keep killing themselves. You sure you're not true? I can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> Alright, well, rescue the survivors then. 
Well, Captain, the scouts managed to rescue several emaciated officers from the wrecked ship. Despite their wounds, they were able to tell us what had happened. During a patrol, the frigate discovered an Eldari ship crossing the system and decided to immediately attack the enemies of humanity. As you do. This hero's vessel proved too fast and skittish, and at one point its engines failed, giving the frigate a chance to attack. When the guns were aimed, several Drukari ships suddenly pounced from the darkness. At first they attacked from a distance, but soon boarded the frigate and wrecked a bloody massacre on the decks. It's only by sheer medical that the surviving officers managed to escape, locking themselves up in a hidden technical compartment the Xenos had no use for. Some of us claimed that the Xenos conspired and deliberately led the ship into a trap where it met his doom. The Xenos joined forces to eliminate a vessel of the Imperium? Hmm. An alliance between the Eldere and the Drakari is an unusual sight, and yet such outcome is hardly surprising. Why, Master Interrogator, I was thinking exactly the same thing. At least you and I can finally agree on something. How blind are the monkey to the vices of their own kind? Humans attack a ship of the children of the Syrian, sailing peacefully by, but it is my kinspeople who are to blame? No, my kind would not butcher the Dark Ones of their own volition and then abandon their ship. Something else happened here, something I am afraid to even consider. Alright, check out the ship. Lord Captain, I am reporting that the hull fragments belong to the Drukari Xenos race, but the presence of their ship is the system of this time has not been confirmed. Elantak has... has my search come to a dead end? I venture into the darkness space with the monkey, hoping to find my kin, but I'll find corpses buried by human hatred. Oh, buried by human self-defense in this case. We may not have agreed on everything, but at least you tried to reach out to me. As a thank you, I will share the coordination of my kinspeople's cash with you, as I promised you will be given a reward worthy of your efforts. I mean, if I was to speculate, I would I would actually think that both of them were probably Dark Eldar, because... Here's the thing. An Eldar vessel is just sailing blindly through Imperial space, just doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. How? I, I hope no big bad Imperials come to try and attack me. Oh no, that would be dreadful. Kind of like V in yesterday's D&D. Big, burly, strong man, I am but a tiny woman. If you were to choose to grab me and rape me, says V, then I would have no chance to resist. Uh, this kind of scenario I feel like here, because... And then its engines just mysteriously failed, allowing an Imperial frigate to catch up just in time to get ambushed, eh? Yeah, mm, I think that was probably a Dark Eldar uh, mimic device, pretending to be an Eldar ship. But as, as to what happened to the ambushers, however, who apparently exploded, fuck knows. A desperate last torpedo salvo from the frigate at point-blank range, maybe? I don't know. The crew retreated to a truly impressive sight, a colossal storm on the gas giant's surface. The planet's dimensions in themselves were mind-boggling, and then it birthed a tempest, the storm to end all storms. As the Lord Captain and his officers observed it from a safe distance through the bridge's huge viewing window, someone suggested giving it a name, and the Emperor's Wrath garnered the most votes. Some of the crew believed the storm to be an omen. Suspicious little tards. Nothing. Well, that was a far more peaceful system than the last one, at least. <laughs> Can you really call it rape if it's V? Yes, chat. Oh. That's the thing. It, it would have been a very voluntary struggle snuggle. A very V. Voluntary. Ooh, voluntary. Traversal! Who doesn't love traversal? I don't love traversal. I kind of fucking hate traversal. Okay. Whilst I'm over here, though, I do need to put the thing in the thing. Um, yes, I need to put the thing in the thing. I forgot about the thing. The thing. The thing that we recovered from Kiawagama. I probably traversed across half the galaxy away from where I need to put the thing in the thing now, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you can use the void ship bridge for that. Oh, dang. Alright, input. Pack, com, obset, true. The great mechanism has transformed the secret data into a format that you can comprehend without the assistance of a servant of the Omnissiah. 
The data bank description procedure has been completed without complique. There is a fact that unconsciously is going flicking nervously. A fitter brought her to begin. Again, this that which destroyed starting point. As we breathe live and marked the beginning of all, it marked the beginning of Normos, it created Normos. Unacceptable deviation, violation of the sacred protocols, possibility of tech heresy. Omnisire shield us from all heresy. And what was that just now? A catastrophic mistake, a heinous violation of the purity of the hallowed code. This mechanism is touched by heresy. It is branded and tainted by it. Now the machine is safe, but it produces code as before, and yet, Lord Captain, heed my plea. All operations on this machine must be halted until the entrance there Primus inspected it. Normos, what does it mean? That is a mystery to me. If this mechanism truly is tainted, then Heresy, could it be? Question. If Heresy truly has taken hold of this machine's <laughs> spirit and scorned uh, the Omnicize every tenant in the spirit's madness could be such that it has chosen a name for itself. But that is nothing more than my hypothesis. Okay, report this to Pascal, definitely. My knowledge is insufficient to cleanse the code of this mechanism. I will inform the esteemed engine here Prime of this disturbing development. Only he has the power to expel the heresy from this corrupted machine. Alright. Pascal. Where are you? We've got a bug. That's all you're good for, Pascal. Fixing bugs. Where are you hiding? Tech support. There you go. My apologies. 19% of my processing power is engaged in the analysis of my tech comrade's memory. My response time may be longer than usual. The data is scarce. His identification code is the same as mine, and his memory contains data confirming that the assassination did take place. Unfortunately, some of his memory was damaged by pulses broadcast by his battle harness. I can assert with some confidence that he was who he claimed to be, and that he served the Deus Mechanicus earnestly and eagerly. Ah, that was the uh, Opticon, okay. We've headed back in time <laughs> a bit. I was not knowledgeable as to how popular Blessed Amanat's teaching was in exploratory circles. The Cognizant's fleet is massive. His ideas might have found a larger following on its periphery than in the Mother Squadron. Perhaps you were able to find out more. I will continue my research into the Blessed Martyr's memory with all due reverence. See, strange messages have been appearing in the ship's log. This statement is true. Algorithmic violations have been recorded, as a result of which I twice performed an offering to the cogitators of corrected data vows and ruled out the possibility of sabotage. I hypothesize that the violation is a consequence of the discontent of the ship's machine spirits. I recommend a procedure of location of the honored spirits for the glory of the Omnissiah and the steel angels sent by him. Oh. Uh -huh. And what about Demence's neutral or neural augmentics? Because you picked those up, despite my urgings, dumbass. I have destroyed it. Oh. Okay, good. There's some intelligence left in that chrome dome of yours. A slight telltale rattle in Pascal's voice makes him sound unconvincing. Pascal? You're lying to me. <sighs> this statement is true. I am yet to settle into a definitive course of action. I am running a spot diagnostic on the memory of the heretic Demence. Even though purity protocols stipulate that his blasphemous knowledge must be eradicated. I am not drawn toward forbidden information, but only to data concerning the Blessed Amanas. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure that was Heinrich said too. Alright, let's go through the list. Have you found out anything? The success has been partial. Demence Hineman's identity has been confirmed. 
The widespread influence of paranoid motivations is observable in his cognitive processes, which is what seems to have caused him to break his vows. However, extensive regions of his memory have been damaged by forbidden technologies and are, for now, defying decryption. My study of the minds of the tech comrades, Abel, Tarsus, and Demence, has revealed an anomalous similarity between the patterns of damage their memories sustained, what I attributed to cognitive idiosyncrasies, synaptic damage, and the distortive action of scrap code may be the result of a different kind of influence. The undecryptable data fragments in their memory arrays are mysteriously symmetrical. All right, could this stem from the Archmagus? The data discovered is unreadable. It is encrypted, albeit only partially, and I hypothesize that the heretic Demence was attempting to decrypt it. I will take every effort to extract a larger volume of data. Information pointing to the unit referred to as the Maimed Hunter is alleged to be of critical significance. Uh-huh. Has it ever occurred to you that all these events may be part of Amar Nat's plan? That is a valid hypothesis, but not a very likely one. Its truth value is irrelevant as it does not contradict the necessity of establishing the fate of Archmagus Amanat. Okay. What collapsed the defense? Chaos. Duh. An echo of the warp. Energies of the Immaterium that had seeped into real space and taken the shape of a Vox signal. I have found recorded cases of similarly induced corruption in the Archive. Listening to the Void is a perilous occupation. It is indeed. Keep going. Response affirmative. The decryption will continue with diligence and caution. May your labors be effective and fruitful. All right, so he's going to do that. Uh, would you? Yeah. Beyond the sire knows all. Come. May your. I was hoping you were going to come and look at my computer, but. I guess not. Do that perchance. Unbug it? No. Oh, Heinrichs, that's right. I did screw up your mission, didn't I? To what do I owe this visit? Hmm. He doesn't seem too pissed about the fact that I ruined his pet computer. Well, good for me, I suppose. Cassia, cinnamon bun could <laughs> Words cannot describe how boring the bridge is without our stimulating conversations. Damn it. No I further cinnamon bun kitten romance options. Terrible. What about Argenta? Greetings. Damn. Hmm. No cinnamon buns. No sister. What has come of this terrible place? Is there anything else I can pick up that would be of interest? You've got a flamer, which is kind of shit. The focus melter gun. 3528. That's probably good, but... Heavy flamer, too. Hmm. Explorators. Power axe. Service guarantees citizenship. Uh, ah, I don't have enough profit factor. Force field emitter. Martyr's penance. Tempestus catapus. Can't afford. This guy's stuff costs too much. Uh, the pirates are kind of gay. Sun Hammer Lance Battery. Oh. 
I like the sound of that. Give me that. All right, Imperial Navy. I ain't got nothing to trade with them. Should I go for the Heavy Flamer? I am always drawn towards the Heavy Flamer. Sure, well... We'll get a few more points to them. That's actually not bad. In fact, that looks like a, yep, straight upgrade from Cassia, yay. I see they've finally fixed the Hasper Habsburgian jaw that she was uh, so thoroughly cursed with there for a while as well. That's nice. Well, of a Nord, five Canadians. Was there ever such a thing as Chaos Eldar in the law or Dark Eldar was the closest we ever got? Um, not in 40k, I don't think. I think there was a mention of Chaos Elves or something in Warhammer Fantasy in, like, the first edition or something, but there's never been Chaos Eldar, um, largely due to the fact that Eldar and Chaos are uh, very, 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 very opposite to one another, uh, as in... The, the Dark Elba, which is the closest you get, well, Sinesh wants to eat all of their souls in the most horrific way humanly imaginable, basically. So, uh, there's not really much of an alliance possible there. That also is, incidentally, why the idea of an Eldar and Dark Eldar alliance is very unlikely, unless they had some seriously massive overriding... probably like, religious narrative? Like, Irelet. Not Irelet, but, um... Now, was it? If, was it Irelet? If they? The, the chick who, um, The Gathering Storm was all about. That one. Because that would give them a, a certain reason to work together for a greater good, shall we say, and put aside their countless differences. At this point, they've practically deviated into two separate species, really. And mark to shame for $10, had to take a physics test for work. I decided political answers were the best, especially when asked if I mostly agree with facts of life. Be taught to children at any age. Post-truth society. Or was it physics? Psych? Yes, I was wondering, what does this have to do with physics? Psych test, I'm guessing. Ivrain? Ivrain. Ivrain. Ivrain? Ivrain. Uh, do I have food? I have nine units of food. Um, two units of food. Um, sure, pick it up. Facts of life. Be taught to children at any age. I see. I see. Facts of life. What? Like the fact of life that rape may occasionally happen? It's about happen? time! I don't know. I don't, I don't think children should be taught many... F I don't know. Facts of life, Stop. honestly. There. I think, you know, part of the whole being a As child thing be. is not being taught about life, frankly, to a certain degree. Now, to be fair, we also do teach children not enough about life. See, this is the problem, right? On the one hand, people are like, oh, oh yeah, no, definitely. Oh, that's going to not work out very well. This task should have been accomplished easily. Mm, oh, easily is a stretch of the imagination, but... I won't See, tolerate the weakness. Told me a secret. On the one hand, you've got people looking at children and going like, Hello, Timmy. Would you like to know how to masturbate? And Timmy, I'll all of the age of four, the stars. doesn't understand any of this whatsoever. And then he's handed a giant plastic dildo. This seems to not be appropriate for children. On the other hand, we look like 16-year-olds in the face when they're just a... F Hello. Much aesthetic. When they're not even that Follow many years away lead. from, you know, becoming productive members of society. And we go, you know what you don't need to be taught to me? How to do your fucking taxes. How to set up your own business. Or how to become an independent I entrepreneur. How to feed yourself. How to way. write a, a good Never CV. Me. 
how to exist in society. All of this is irrelevant. Now, Timmy, do you remember the giant plastic cock I handed you in it's first grade? Time. <sighs> Sherry. Vox Cleric. In the light of distant stars, our Emperor Progenitor wanders wearily with the thoughts and visions of us. He senses particles of his light through his body suffers, though. His mind lingers on us. Let us therefore nourish him with the light of our souls, with our prayers, with our faith. Faithful worship the Emperor under a great many names and after a great many old fashions, and yet I do not like this prayer. How about you raise your hands? Then for silence, a certified chuckle without a hint of fear comes from Andre's hood. As long as our father progenitor thinks of me, I am eternal. Welcome to the abode of the nourishers. Ugly face with a flat, wide nose. Disproportionate large brow ridges. Irisless eyes with an enormous pupil and wide, toad-like mouth. Yeah, that sounds like a gene steal hybrid, and I think I'm going to be shooting you now. Being there straight too far from mankind's blessed genome, the creed sees no humanity in deviation like these, and so it commands that such creatures be exterminated without mercy. You do not need to ask me twice. Pew 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 pew. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> you hear a clang echo growing louder in the empty module, like hundreds of clawed striking bulkheads and grabbing onto bars. Whoever is advancing upon you, there are a lot of them. You want to run for your life, but they will trap you in this crammed Vox cabin. Countless foes and a cumbersome position. Oh, Emperor, I thank you for giving us another chance to taste the sweetness of battle and the solemn joy of courageous deeds. For influence, command, lock. They're flooding the air with their psyche whispers. There's so many of them. Okay. If you had a few hours to explore the ship, you surely would have found that a number of discrete shafts and unlocked modules you could use to leave the ship. As it is, you're only aware of a single escape, possible escape route through the airlock back the way you came. Any other path may lead to a dead end. Alright, well, I'm not going to waste time then. I am going to start leaving, because I think I know what's in here. Your case falls on a rune-covered patrol panel near the box receiver. Green lumen burns beneath the engage airlock seal switch. So it's talked as corroded, and doesn't immediately yield to your touch, but the lumen changes colour to blood red, and the whirring of deactivating airlocks rise up from the depths of the ship. You yep. don't mind dying, do you? Hello there. Video game thinks I don't recognize Gene Stealer fucking hybrids on site. Not a chance, video game, not a chance. And an Argenta in the middle. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Argenta, my dear, dear darling. Let's see. I mean, you shouldn't have that much armor, but... Uh, yeah, you look like a full auto thing. Alright. Dean Stiller is pretty quick, unsurprisingly. Let's just click that and hope that I get maybe a... Nah, she popped it over there. Meh, meh, meh. If it serves your cause. If not surprising, then disappointing. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Really? That was not quite the reaction I was anticipating, if I am to be entirely honest. My tactics are flawless. After it. Not a problem for me. And Argenta. Take aim. Suits my purposes. All too easy. Right in the Patucha scooter. Right in Tush. Uh, none of you are useful here. Uh, 
doubt is for the weak. This is why I was chosen. I'll do it. Not too bad. A moving target lives longer. Right, Jay, point blank motherfucking range. Surely you can hit it this I time. I can do that with the right. Jay Heydari, remember the name. No, no, you cannot. I really don't like Jay. <laughs> I really don't like the fact strength. that you were like recruit Jay. <laughs> It'll be funny. <laughs> oh, you little shits. It will shit you. Um... Me? You know, I feel like if you insist, Lord Captain. That's not really worth it. It's like, oh, it Isn't increases the, the damage you do by twenty six percent. Deliver us. All right, that's neat. But I could do that, or I could just do this Me? one more if time. You I feel like hitting him three times is a better use of my resources than hitting him one time less but with 26 more damage you know i don't know maybe that's just me i have i have lost right. the dean still is going to act first so there's not really a great deal of point in running you'll regret this idira is suddenly speaking with a far deeper lost. tone of voice than i remember her being capable of Was... was that you? And we'll just keep you burning forever. Ow! Oh, that was painful. If it Did serves you your cause, no weakness is hidden from my sight. Hmm. Right, gotta keep moving as well as engaging. Thirty-four percent chance. That's not very good, is it? Um, blim, 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 blim. What now? Cassia, little cinnamon bun. Could you maybe? I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Mm. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Uh, okay, well, we'll try. Already done. Who knows? I might actually hit him. No. Well, that was not necessarily completely unpredictable. Argenta, you're... Faith without deeds is worthless. Uh, locked and loaded now. I'll... I'll have you continue on ahead. You've still got one magazine left. Jay, um, technically you're my, is good for my, lungs. my pseudo Malir. 1% chance, surely you uh, are. Of course, of course. Tell me, and it is done. Of course, Jay. Of course the 1% chance hits. With the 1% right the, the chance hits her. Jay, you... I, I am a navigator. I cannot overestimate the amount of disappointment I feel in you, Jay. Me. I, t I truly insist, cannot. Lord Captain. I, I wish, I wish your birth was recognized as the mistake it was. Die? Another soul beyond the veil. Hmm. This is making me want to play, um, uh, oh god, what's the name? Um, Space Hulk. This this is really I, this is really making me want to play spell with Space Hulk. The old one, mind you, not the new one. I I, I did not come. like the new one. I don't think the new Space Hulk is as good as the old we'll one. Do. Like the old one has terrible graphics, awful On graphics, it. but it had a lot of soul. The we'll old do. one had. The new one, I I haven't even played it that much, but I remember playing it a little bit and being like, meh. I don't think I'm interested in this. Maybe it got better, but I didn't hear it get any expansions or anything either, so... Uh, I doubt it. I very much so doubt it. Nice. All 
Right, Argenta, seeing as you've already got your full auto locked up, as you might Emperor as well. Commands, I act. That was not amazing. I'll do it. But that's fine. We'll just reload her. Give her another aim. And then it'll be her turn again. Rejoice in battle! As the Emperor commands, I act. Next. No, it costs too much. I'll do it. <laughs> mm, poor Argenta. So, can I do that afterwards? Because if I do that now, As I can. As the Emperor nice. commands, I act. And that'll give me a stack of versatile as well. Apparently, he didn't like that. Living on the edge. I have read tomes of military I tactics. I don't remember what the first one was called now. I think it was just something like Space Hulk Tactics or something like that. I, I think that was probably Space Hulk Tactics or something. That one was really good. That was really good. It's... Swift and One silent. of those games that are... Quite... Simple, in a way, but also oddly complex in another. It's it's almost a little hard to properly explain faith. it. I'll do it. Oh, did I not move? Uh... There. Good don't don't don't. I don't remember Gene Sealer Steelers having, you know, incredible regeneration powers, but, uh... uh can I? I will not! Why not? As the Emperor commands, uh, I Hey, load your gun, then. I guess this I is a very special strain of Gene Sealer. This strain has incredible regenerative powers. In but it's apparently shed who the all of its communal instincts as they're coming at me Just one at a time. A Normally, the primary threat of gene stealers is, well, one, obviously, they're very, very sharp little clawsies, and two, the numbers. Of the Emperor will be when as today, apparently, the only threat of the gene stealer is <laughs> the fact that he doesn't want to die. A moving target lives longer. Don't get too cocky. No, you know what, Jay? I don't, I don't trust you to shoot. I don't trust you to open fire on anything. You'll do more damage to me than you will to the enemies of humanity. If I may. Then again, the warp course does probably also boost critical Isn't damage. Isn't this a job it? for the serfs? I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Fifty-one. Oh, was that it? No, you just... <laughs> that goodbye. I'll just stay here. And... Bomb it from orbit. Mm, all of it. Immediately. Nuke it. Nuke it until there is nothing left to nuke. And then continue nuking it for a while longer. Literally, I wish to dig a hole in the desert with nuclear ordnance. That is the only solution to this particular problem. Just keep digging down deeper until we hit the mantle. A small planet gently wrapped in amber forest greets you with a ruby, ruby colored dawn. Basil von dem Klerk, the local governor, gives the road trader a warm welcome after several glasses of Dema Damasini. The sweltering ruler asks if his supreme lord's greatness, Sir Archer Terra von Flens, would like to keep him company during the upcoming hunt. Sure. Uh, by the way, there's gene stills in your system that you might want to look into that. After several hours of riding, uh, of riding the local peculiar animals, you may camp in the middle of a golden forest. Basil von dem Klerk points to the sky. A flat disc rises over the horizon, constantly morphing its color and shape. 
The forest grows silent and empty. You can no longer hear the sing of birds or even the rustle of wind. The governor nods with satisfaction and a few shapes step into the clearing. Their bodies are twisted by an unknown phenomenon. And you watch the freaks with astonishment as they begin to dance to the throaty cackling of their brethren, turning the bony girls and pulsating flesh of their scaly hands towards the unnatural thing in the sky. I think he knows there might be gene stealers in the system. <laughs> governor, the fuck? You know what is happening here? I mean, I think shooting them is the solution. Uh, I, I'm pretty, yeah, no, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, shoot them. Having armed themselves with flames and chainsaws, your party cl cleared out several ac acres of nearby forest. The scouts report destroying several in uh, several villages inhabited by heretical entities. Basil von der Cleric excitedly explains that the creature you saw are children of the great king of distortion. It is he who is a true god and patron of these fertile grounds. Once every cycle, his chariot shines its light upon the world and bestows transformation upon his most ardent followers. The rogue trader may become one of his heralds. Shoot him! The governor's head separates from his neck with a distinctive squelch. Black and brown blood seeps into the soil beneath his corpulent body and is immediately transformed into a writhing tangle of worms that burrow deep into the ground with a natural speed. You return to the ship, pondering what to do with the world, and more importantly, what to do with the King of Distortion. Okay, hey, let's head towards it. TN officers observe suspicious activity em emitting from the twisted celestial body at the heart of the system. The chaplain advised you to get ready for a potential encounter with spawns of the arch enemy. So maybe why so reconsider unless you have a holy relic, sacred war, or blessed effigy of the Emperor. A flame with a plethora of colors, the distorted celestial disk trembles slightly beyond the endless window of the captain's bridge as the rotated ship approaches its center. Otherworldly voice called an enveloping enters your mind. What could this puny wretch possibly offer a king? Officers on the bridge look around, perplexed. Their eyes are full of terror and confusion. Many clutch their heads and let out a long howl of pain. Some empty their stomach, but most pale and exhaust exhausted thought they are have joined the Lord Captain in resisting the entity's influence. Command the entities, release their minds. Uh, that was praying service of holy relics. I don't have any of those. The king's mocking off drinks in years, and a deep red trickle that runs slow from your nose. He shoot it? How dare you deceive the king with trifles? Send his furious, and you feel a gust of invisible wind blow a thousand blades right through your ship. Officer collapsing at your feet. Resonating silent the pencil ship, and a bright flash stuns you for what it could be any length of time. Yeah, I feel like some holy relics would have been useful here. Oh. Hmm. Right, that sounds like a you-need-to-go-back-to-this kind of thing. I didn't save at any relevant points, did I? I didn't. But, 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 what I can do now is... Shrouded in a greenish gray mist when I see you. I can simply reload that test until I succeed it. Okay, so you need a relic before you do anything about that. Because I was pretty sure that shooting it wouldn't actually do shit. That, that felt. Duty prevails. Ah! I always got that on the first try. Brilliant. Don't tell me the pistol. Lay claim to the stars. How very adorable. All right, well, I think I'll wrap it up there, then. The the usual three hours with a decent bit of progress. And I'll probably do this off-screen, so we don't have to do the whole chase thing again. Well, that's interesting. All right, holy relics. I still have yet to find Argenta's beloved whatever the fuck it is, so maybe that's it. I, w I would guess that would be it. Uh, before I wrap it up, though... Uh, Olive Nord, could a hive fleet reach the current expanse, or would the warp summon other space anomalies around the region protect from outside Tyrannid incursions? They probably wouldn't want to head there first, but it absolutely could could get through there. Like they they wouldn't be hugely interested. They would go for easier stuff first, but they could absolutely get to the current expanse. Uh, excuse me. The windows are overlapping too much. 
Uh, chosen Meme Dead says five dollars towards not torturing Cassia, five towards sacrificing the Dark Elder, five towards more focused efforts of wooing the rest of the harem. A rogue trader shouldn't show favoritism. Very well. Hmm, I see, I'm a little bit sad that there's no more romance options at the moment. I'm presuming you need to, you know, maybe go to chapter four or whatever before Cassia is, uh, continues her uh, her rightful place as a cinnamon bun kitten. And uh, Ruba Legacy 623, Cassia is best kitten and only worthy romance. She is. She really is. She is the only worthy romance right now. No question about it. And marked ashamed. Alternative Space Hulk scenario. Tau crisis battle suits on an orc hull. Eldar Aspect Warriors exarchs on a Chaos Demon Hulk. You could absolutely do way more though with the, 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 the Space Hulk scenario, honestly. But it really hasn't been done at all. Uh, Space Hulk Ascension is the one I was thinking about, the old one. The other one was Space Hulk's Tactics. That was the one I didn't like. Let me... Um... Let me see. Did it ever get anything? No, it got no expansions, no DLC, no nothing. So it clearly did not do very well. It clearly did not do very well at all, no. Oh, well. That is too bad for it. Follow my lead! Anyways, until next time, chat. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for your generous donations. And... I'll do this chase off screen as mentioned, and we'll go looking for Cassia's doubly do, I guess, as that might advance the non existent romance path with Cassia. Argenta. Argenta! Argenta! But I'm sure Cassia will be impressed too. Until then, have a very good night, chat.